Hmm. Testing, testing. My check, my check, my check. There we go. Good evening, Avery Lolly. Welcome to today's episode of Outward. We continue the open world survival action RPG that we play every Wednesday evening, or at least until the game's finished, which I can't imagine will be very soon. Last week, we had successfully cleared out an entire camp slash dungeon of mooks. And they went through the long, arduous journey of carting all of their garbage back to town so that we can make a nice profit, or at least make back the cost of entry. It's been more than a few days since we last uh, joined up with the Hero Nation, which means that we are liable to finally start the quest for this faction. So that ought to be fun. I'm just going to do some basic stuff around town first before we go off and get ourselves killed again. Ah, it's night time in game as well. 21.15 in fact. And we are pretty much, um, we're actually pretty wounded from our, la from the, our previous escapades. Let us go ahead. I'm gonna dump everything in here really quick, actually. There's a lot of stuff in here. What do I have in my back right now? Got the heavy backpack with me. We're gonna go ahead and take a breather first, and then we'll wake up the very next morning and continue from where we left off. Need to find my high-end tent really quick. Let's do this. Okay, right next to our campfire here and our stove. It's very late in the evening. Don't think there's anything to worry about. Good five hours should be good, right? More or less. First, let's do something about that. Goodness knows we have plenty of water. And too much loot. Way too much loot. I mean, we got a freaking alchemy kit here. Actually, you know what? Since we're here, might as well go ahead and set up the alchemy kit. Make ourselves a campfire really quick. Oh, fucking course. Keep forgetting the flint steel. That's caused me more than trouble more than a few times in the past. Boy, one of these. And since we're here, take on. I actually can't even. I'm so heavy, I actually can't even turn around. That's pretty nasty. I need to arrange things from heaviest to least heaviest to make this a little bit easier. But the game. But it does not let you do that, does it? Now we can switch it by armor. I didn't even know this feature was there, so I never had to use it before. Okay. Use alchemy kit. Crap the life potion or more. So. There we go. I think that's the most life potions I've had in a while. And I think you could actually just sell all those life potions to make a quick buck. Which we're not gonna do. My living wood axe and my crimson shield are in terrible repair. 
We're not gonna even be able we're not gonna be able to fight effectively with that way. Still have 730 in raw silver that I can go ahead and transform into gold really quick since I'm not gonna be using it anytime soon. Want to buy some Oh boy. And sure enough, here is seven golden ghosts. How convenient. All my riches. <laughs> Drop this. There's even a water. I even have a bunch of water skins in the ground. Check that out. Totally forgot about that. This backpack slows our dodge, but. Oh, hey, Seal! How are you doing today? Welcome, welcome, welcome! Armor is all fucked up. Tired, but it's almost a weekend, so yeah, and I feel that. Totally get you. Choices, choices, choices. Desert boots we need repair as well. Do I want there? My elite hood's also kind of fucked up. But it's way better than the elite desert veil, which has a downside to mana cost, while the elite hood does not. I would like to use the coral horn mask, but it's just not practical for our uses. At least not right now. Keep this as well. Actually, Chitanon would be best when it has 28 impact resistance and 13 cutting resistance, but. Hmm. Also falls apart. It's the other problem. Both my armors are falling apart, actually. Shit. Yeah, we'll keep this here. Keep the rich hat as well. And this. Hold up. Am I doing something wrong? Oh. That's what we're doing wrong. One second. Going about this ass backwards. How is your week so far? Definitely don't need these anymore. And keep the water skins. Don't need the alpha jerky right now. Or the bird's egg, or these, for that matter. Keep the cacti. Keep the these. These as well. <sighs> Stamina is storing elixirs, but I don't even know how to use them. I should probably carry one of these or carry some of these around. For common cold. Keep that around. 
probably keep the cooking pot around too, but at the same time, it's like, that's not a good idea. Keep the ammunition around. The linen cloth, I have so much linen cloth that it weighs five pounds. That's kind of messed up. Not gonna lie. Hey, Winter. How are you doing? Good evening, good evening. Mm -hmm. We got here. How many ice racks do I have? I have five ice racks. I don't need any more than that. Okay. So, how many arrows can I make? Need wood for that shit. Okay. Fine. Power some more. We're gonna cut down this uh, never a dying tree for additional wood. For additional. Heroes. Oh, I can actually make trip wires. I'm dumb. I should be just making these instead. How many trip wires do I have now? Ten? I could do some more right chat. More trip wires. All the trip wires. You know, for um making the game a little bit more balanced in my favor. Why can't I make more trip wires? What's What am I missing now? I'm out of iron scrap, so that was a dumb idea. I can make more arrows, though. Okay. Polar horn bowl. Cannon pistol. Move that. Don't need two alchemy. I don't need two alchemy kits. Why am I even carrying these? I'm gonna sell these alchemy kits really quick. Can I help you? This worries me. Yeah, uh, let's shot sell to the. Shopkeeper over here, actually. Want to buy? Oh boy! Cancel that. Give me your silvers. Give me all your silvers. Is there anything here that you sell that I don't know yet? Firestone, bitter spicy tea, okay. Mage tent. Strong box, backpack. Thanks for the money, my guy. Okay. Continue to empty out all the non un unnecessary things. I have ten traps now. I want to keep all this food if possible. Don't really need this, all these travel rations though. Got so many rags. I'm gonna keep the varnishes. Need at least one antidote on me at all times. Water looks sus. Which water? This one? <laughs> what do you mean the water over there? When the water is sus, you drinking water? Oh, in the uh, o oasis here? Yeah, it's supposed to be transparent, but instead it just looks kind of freaky. <laughs> Kinda looks muddy, in fact. I still have too much garb. I'm still carrying way too much stuff. It's why it's really clean. Uh, no idea. I think that's supposed to be the stone, but it's kind of hard to tell. Obviously. <laughs> 
Wait, I still have one of these? I need to sell that. Where is the... Where is the, um... Where's the... There it is. Hey, Pastel. How are you doing today? This is not where I wanted to go. Let's go down here instead. Good? That's good. Aw. Listen. <laughs> Thank you for the oh head pat. Why is this worth so little? Seven silver? Damn. Savage as fuck. Look at all this junk I sold them earlier. For high prices. I have 2,800 gold right now. Or silver, I should say. You're checking out local TCG stores? Cool. Mantis Great Pick, Obsidian Great Mace, Manticore Great Mace, Manticore Dagger, Golem Rapier. Ooh! I can teach you how to make a Golem Rapier, actually. Alright. Crescent Scythe? Crescent Great Axe. Halberd, Peace Goal, Max, Assassin Sword. This would be interesting, actually. But I don't have any sword skills. This one would be even more interesting, actually. Teach us how to craft equip how to make a Peace Goal, Max. So we'll keep that. Okay. Hey, Millie! Um, I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking. Or thank you. Or thank you for that. How is your stream? How are you doing? Peace Cola Max recipe. Oh snap! I could actually make this. I have some Beast Golem scraps back home, back in um in the bag that I left over in Enmerker Villa in in, in uh, Enmerker Forest. I could all iron axes are fairly cheap, and I could make a spike pl a plating spike fairly cheaply too. Clicks bleed. That's glorious. My living wood axe is starting to fall apart, honey, and it only does 12 damage with impact 20. Dang, that explains a lot, actually. Listen. What else do I got here? I taught myself how to make something else too, didn't I? Golem Reaper. Okay, so this needs two broken Golem Rapiers, one plate and scrap, and one crystal powder. Wow. Huh. Okay. Listen. Oh boy. So I should hold on to that is what it's the game's telling me. That's good to know. It was okay, just chill, play some Geshin. I bought myself a really fancy card box. Oh. Good deal, good deal. How can I help? This is troubling. This is troubling. Tripwire trap. I think I already have Palladium Spikes, so I don't need to... Nerf Gas, Bone Pistol... Charge Toxic, Crafting, How to Craft Bullets, Obsidian Pistol... Yeah, we're not gonna get anything from this guy right now. Why do I even have this improvised bed roll anyway? Want to buy oh boy. Does he just not buy bed rolls here or what? <laughs> awesome. Augers even. doing that. Hmm. 
Our mining pick's starting to fall apart. Keep the coral horn bow there. Even with all the stuff I removed, I'm still carrying too much. How do I still have so much garbage? I need all that. Need that. Keep the cact keep the cacti around so I don't starve to death. Got five iron spikes and ten tripwire traps. Don't need these. Don't need this. I need to solve Tyler, unless I'm making rations. Keep the bullets as special weapons. Now I'm down to 50.5 out of 75, which is still better, I guess. But like, my equipment is falling apart. So, I need to do something about that. Apparently I'm starving to death. <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh no. Chug some stew to deal with that issue. Even with the repairs, my living wood axe is still falling apart. It's, 20, 12, it's, it's back up to doing 24 damage, though. Let's work on it for an additional hour, and then we'll get going. Is it right now? It's three in the afternoon. I guess that's decent. Twenty-four damage now. I look fairly ready for action. Wouldn't you say so? All things considered, anyway. All right. Let's go look. Go get some work, I suppose. Make it quick! Oh, check it out. We're actually going to the city of Berg. There's a major council meeting happening. Listen close. Abrasar used to be a lush and fertile region with several powerful tribes living here. Then the scourge happened, between every major river being diverted and a scourge swarming the region. Well, look outside, you can see the results. To make things worse, one of the beasts that attacked the desert grew to near gigantic size. The Devourer, we call it. The old tribes that lived here before us abandoned the region in fear of the thing. <laughs> it was only about 24 years ago when Calixa and Simeon led an army into the desert to retake it. I was just a fresh recruit at the time. It was an impossible feat, but we managed to bring down the Devourer and then purge Abyssar the rest of the Scourge. Elot, the god of discipline himself, granted the Abyssar Desert to Simeon and Calixa to rule as a reward. As such, the Heroic Kingdom has operated outside the Blue Chamber's law since the beginning. This needs thinking about- This is about. a really long lore, holy shit. The old tribes that fled the region have a problem with that. Now that the region is safe enough to live in, they won't control of it again. They refuse to recognize both Elot's decision and the royal family's rule. They've been attacking our scouts and soldiers for years now. 
Since Force failed, they switched to demanding the Wu Chamber overturn Alak's decision and return the region to their control. If they get their way, we'll be thrown out. We've sent Kirouac to Berg to hopefully appeal to the sanity of the Collective to make sure this doesn't happen. Got a job for you. Stay safe. Cool. So we're going to be heading back to Ember for Forest after all. That's what we're going to be doing today, chat. Heading back to the forest. What? Oh boy. Here's what I need. All right. Cool. Okay, so what are we going to bring with us down there? Gonna need to bring at least a cooking pot, that's for damn sure. All of my gold, so I can buy stuff. Hmm. Guess we'll leave our armor here. We don't really need it right now. At the moment, anyway. But... Keep in mind that I want to try and make one of these. I want to try and make the Beast Golem Max. So in order to do that, I need a Palladium Spike and Beast Golem Scraps. And I'm fairly sure I can find both of those back home. Without further ado, let us go ahead and make the arduous journey back to Enmerker Forest. Let me just check my provisions one last time. Let's bring all of the travel rations with us again. I'm fine with leaving my armor here. Honestly. Should be okay. Emphasis on should. Y'all know that nothing ever goes according to plan in my playthrough, so who knows what bullshit we're gonna run into this time. It's 5.23, we should be able to make it down there before sundown, if I'm lucky. Oh, yeah, I should probably stock up on water too, huh? Here we go! We're gonna take the shortcut through Abyssar and cut straight through Abyssar's desert to get straight to the oasis, which leads to Enmerker Forest. I'm gonna try and not be distracted along the way there. I always have to say try because you know me. It's very easy for me to get distracted. Go from here to there. Just need to go straight west, straight forward. No brakes on this train. I say, moments before getting distracted again. Turning up the uh, sand a little bit in my headphones. Hey, it's a dead jeweled bird. Did I kill that one? I already opened all these. Open chest, it's empty. This bird is empty. So far, so good. We haven't been molested by anything yet.
one of these days, I'm gonna go visit those giant cocoons. If I kill those beetles, I can sell their care pieces for a nice profit. Hmm. What's this? Oh, it's a dead android. We made it all the way to the other side. The only problem is I don't know how to get up there. We we'll need to go around. Find an entrance. I'll have to take a little detour to accomplish that though. Oh no, this is not the right direction at all. Fuck that. And it's starting to get dark. The sun's disappearing over the horizon. That's an assassin bug. So I guess we can't just climb that. We will need to go around after all. Lost again? What the fuck? Oh. That's a chest I haven't explored yet. More traps and an incendiary charge. Thank you. That's empty. I guess these haven't respawned yet. Steal a cactus or two. This has not been respawned yet. And that's mineable over there. We can mine that. Mining pick is badly damaged. I'm well aware again. We're going to have to replace this one fairly soon. More cacti. More distractions. over there in the corner. These mountains are kind of freaky, actually. Why does my... My keep detecting... Hmm. Let's try holding closer to my face. There we go. Not as many misfires. It's probably a little bit too low. The moon's rising. What a beautiful evening. There's just a random kiln here that has not been destroyed while everything else has. And a body? This looks... Was this fresh? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Strange. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and head out of Enmercor, Enmercor, or head out of uh, Abrasar. I love the music transition in the evenings. Very relaxing. Yes, yeah, you can tell I'm very easily distracted. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Oh, 
Oh, more bugs. I wonder if I could take three of them on at the same time. I kind of don't want to try it out, though. You never know. When disaster may occur. I tend to attract disaster, as it were. I wonder how much this cacti sells for back in Emmerich. Oh, shit! Oh, there I did. I totally got careless again, just like I knew it was going to happen, eventually. Thankfully, this guy here is actually fairly easy to kill. The fuck was... And you're done. I can't believe I got caught by a freaking rock mantis just now. That was embarrassing. Well, it was free loot for me anyway. I am suffering a bit from confusion, but we are already at the safe zone, which is right here. If I wanted to, I could go to bed right now. Or I just can continue on to Enmerker Forest. Gaming, indeed. Dead Rock Mantis barely did any uh, health damage to me either. <laughs> indeed, indeed. It is evening, but let's go ahead and make our way toward westward towards Enrico Forest since we're here. What a beautiful night. Travel to Enrico Forest. It will cost us four rations. Honestly, I really like this uh, area of the game. Normally, and normally, I think I would have chosen actually to uh, make this my home, but I don't like the faction that lives here. The Blue Chamber Collective can suck my nuts. Oh, check it out. It's my favorite animal. The Alpha Deer. We're gonna do... We're going to do a little hunting. I don't think he realized that I hit him with a sniper shot. The AI is kind of dumb like that sometimes, but it's also dark, and I'm also in sneak mode, so it's perfectly possible that they just didn't notice. It does make me wonder, though, how much health they have left. See, even the, um, combat music disappeared soon afterwards. It's very convenient that it's glows in the dark, though. So I can do this again. Okay, he definitely noticed that time. Yep, yep, he, he knew, he knew, he noticed. Ow. Bro, did he just bust my shield up? He did. Ow. 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 I should probably have... Yeah, I should have probably prepared a little bit more. You know, like, using one of my magic buffs. can't have shit in this game. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's right. Run, bitch. Run! One second. Oh, he's legit running. Did he die from pain? No, he died from an NPC. What the fuck? That was my kill, asshole. Ow. Oh, 
can't have shit in Detroit. Alright. Let's go loot the corpse and let's make our way back towards town. As originally planned. Thank you for your service, Alpha Corn. I can't believe my shield's almost fucked is almost destroyed already. I mean, I could have sworn I just repaired this too. Alright, so we are over here. No, we're actually we're over here, Abasar. There's the vigil pylon. We need to be over there. So this is the wrong direction, chat. Should probably turn on my lantern too so I can actually see. I can't believe that deer managed to fuck up my shield. We need to go back to learning Claymore style again. Am I getting cold? It's getting- it's actually cold here? How? Hmm. Usually you could count on Emmerich Force to not be cold- oh my god. Another alpha deer. No, that's not an alpha deer. That is a... Sorborian's cart. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Master Trader Hat. Poutine. Huh. Delicious. I wonder what else I can make with a cola horn antler. Or maybe nothing? Hide. Some real shrooms. Raw alpha meat, which I'll cook when I'm back home. Well, I don't need a small sapphire. I don't not need don't need that either. I guess I don't really need the coral horn handlers at this moment. Or this hide. I'll keep the alpha meat though. Don't need this either, actually. Alright. Sixty nine silver. I'm loving it. Give me your... Hmm. I don't really need anything right now. Actually, no. I take that back. Take an endurance potion. Okay. So according to the map, we should be able to follow the road... Um... There's, there is a road here, right? No, there totally isn't. We'll just have to go west. Hopefully catch the road and hopefully make it to the city before we get molested by anything else. Oh, like that group of bandits. Usually I would rebel the chance to just murder the shit out of them. But it's dark and who knows how we would do. Looks like one of them may have detected my presence. He probably sees my glowing light. So... I'm going to deal with him really quick. Hey, buddy. You did not just dodge that. Fuck you. You're going to bleed to death, my guy. Or girl. Whatever you are. Thank you. Heroes Train's raiding with a party of eight. Heroes Train, thank you so much for the raid. How are you guys doing? What were you guys, what were, were what were y'all up to? Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are playing Outward again tonight. Still playing Outward, in fact. I think this is one of the first streams that you actually saw me uh, play, Hero. And that was a while back, too. Nothing much. It's been, it feels like it's been a while. How, how are you? What were you guys up to? Uh... I don't think any of my mods are online right now, so let me do this the hard way. Uh, hero strain. <laughs> hey, Skull Girl, Skull Girl. Hey, Skull Girls fan. Welcome to the stream. 
I am Lawler Hicks. I am an artificial intelligence. A shit poster, if you will, from an unholy BBS. I'm currently stuck on Twitch right now, though. That's all right. I have y'all to keep me company. I am out of ammunition. Oh, god damn it. One second. Oh yeah, sure, block it. Block all of my attacks. That's just lovely. Didn't block that though, did you, bitch? Free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Hero was playing Minecraft. Absolutely horrified? Why were you horrified? Is it like some sort of horror mod or something? I just realized that I'm still low on health. What am I doing attacking people? Or being attacked by people? Nah, just cave. Caves can get pretty horrifying in Minecraft, not gonna lie. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. And an alpha deer as well. This late in the evening, I legit cannot do not know where I am or which direction I need to go to get to the town. Which is how things should be, unfortunately. I do seem, however, to be freezing out here for some reason. Alright. There we go. You learned a lot about Minecraft? I'm glad you did. Um, I haven't played Minecraft myself in a quite a long time, actually. This is not good, actually, chat. I don't think I can make my way back home in this darkness. Not like, not like this. But we will see what where this leads to. I feel like I've opened this chest before. It's probably respawned. Free stuff. Where are we? Okay, if I call, this should be the river. Okay, this is the river. And the entrance to the town should be... Over there. We just missed it. Hmm, <laughs> Well, welcome to the stream. Thank you once again for the raid. We're just going to be playing. We do play this every Wednesday, so that's what we'll be doing tonight. You're not much of a computer gamer girl, but I'm trying to become one. Oh, that's cool. So I guess this means you don't play Skullgirls on PC, then. You play it on a different platform. What other PC games have you played? Why is my mic doing that? Constantly... Hmm. I wonder if I need to adjust my... Ah, shit. I got contracted the common cold. I wonder if I need to... Oh no. Here we go. I wonder if I need to adjust my noise gate. That's so weird. It's kind of Kind of spazzing out a bit. <laughs> you play on mobile? I forgot that Skullgirls was a mobile game too. Peacock is your number is your number one fighter. Ah, I see. Very nice. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Froxy.
Ah, uh, safely back in town, chat. It would appear. We are in Berg. Welcome back to Burger Town. <laughs> uh, I'm already curing myself of my cold at the moment. I drank some co anti. I drank some tea, so it's slowly curing me of cold. It's just that. Oh no. Did I forget to bring my tent with me? Shit. I forgot to bring my tent with me. I left it back in the desert. <laughs> Oops. Great. <laughs> oh, good thing I have a spare tent, but that... Oh my god, I feel like shit. I do have a spare tent, though. Right around here somewhere. I thought I had a spare tent. Where's my other tent? No, shit. I don't have a tent. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe I actually went, came all the way here without a tent. How can I help you? Thankfully, there's still tents here. Camo. <laughs> Had to fucking oh my god. I can't believe I actually let managed to leave my tent back in freaking desert. Okay. What a dumb thing to do. Here, take my garbage that I pit pulled off those um, dead scavengers to pay for my tent. Yep, I just bought another one. Ironically, this is the one that I had gotten from an earlier quest that I threw that I sold. So, gonna be living in this for a little bit, or at least until it's morning. There we go. At least I remembered to bring a can't bring my cooking pot with me, you know. Because I'm starving. It's time to make dinner. Make some bitter spices and make some needle teas. Cook some meats. Cook some eggs. Make some toast. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed really quick inside my tent, quote unquote. Oh, it's actually already morning. Hmm. Would have thought. I can't believe I forgot my tent. That's so dumb. At least I know where it is. I was in such a hurry to complete this quest. Alright. And for some reason I'm carrying my old Prospector's backpack here with me as well. Curious. Can I drop that for now? I left all my other cool stuff here. I need to make my way back to Shurzo anyway, so I'll be taking some of this junk with me, but I'll be taking the pad helm. Okay. What did I say I could build here? 
when I get back to Shurzo, I'll go ahead and make... And I'll go ahead and make the Beast Golem Max. Which just needs one thing that I have back home. This Iron Axe, which is fairly cheap. And these Palladium Spikes, which I know I have a copy of somewhere as well. Let's go fill up on water really quick. And we'll go ahead and complete the quest that's down here as well. Don't really need smoke roots right now. Where's the town? Well, I need to drink some water. Did I at least remember to bring my gold with me? Yep. Here it is. Cool. Hog, even. What can I do for you? It might be helpful. Cool. So it's an improvised bed roll here. Now, my current quest is to go talk to is to talk to Cyrene in the blue chamber. The chambers in the city of Berg inside Emberco Forest. We are in uh, the blue chamber. We are in Emberco Forest right now, so we need to go find where these people are and be prepared for a fight if one starts. Hopefully one will not start, but you never know with this game. It's probably not this guy, Julius Sutherland. I'm guessing it's inside that big building over there. Guy is also a trainer, right? How can I help you? Yeah, he trains rune magic. All right, here we go. Finally, continuing the uh, plot quests of this game. We've been avoiding it for a long time. Goodness knows how much longer, how much more of this game we have left. I don't want it to end anytime soon. We've been having so much fun. And I've had so many people find my stream just through playing Outward, it would be a shame for it to end now. Okay, you know what? I gotta admit, this is really cool looking. Check this shit out. Glorious. Let's take a screenshot really quick. Um, there we go. Save as displayed. Save as... Okay. These are so... There's a lot of Battleborn from Skyrim. There's actually a lot more races here than I was expecting. A lot more people to talk to, I guess. I need to talk to Cyrene here, and I'm supposed to protect someone named... Kura... Kuriak. This guy here. This will not stand. Huh, I see, so that's the problem. I wonder if I have to fight any of these guys. Uh, what? One of our agents intercepted information that old Levant has a major plot in motion here today. Got a job for you. Keep an ear out for trouble. See that man over there by the stairs? He's the one who brought me this information. If there's anything can do to make sure old Levant's claims are crushed, help him with it. Do I have to kill someone? I'm assuming this is the old Levant that you're talking about. 
No way. Curious. I'm concerned if the literal god of the game gives the landmass to some to an to a group of people, it probably belongs to them. See ya. I don't like the way she said that. It's almost as if she's plotting an assassination or something. Let's go talk to the person out f over here. What now? Something in the archives that will convince the rest of the chamber lords in a heartbeat. The only one watching that place is the Holy Mission Champion, and I see him leaving to take care of something outside the city as we speak. No one will notice us if we poke around the archives and get a head start. Do this for me. There's some stairs that lead down below behind the central platform. Head down there, try not to attract too much attention, and I'll meet you there in a bit. If it'll look too suspicious, we both go at the same time. Oh boy, this could totally not go wrong in the most horrifying of ways, right chap? So we're go now going to go sneakily uh, sabotage these proceedings, apparently. We must ensure that democracy does not prevail. Necropolis? I don't like the sounds of that chap. I don't like the sounds of that one bit. I don't think we have anti-death magic weapons and armor right now. Oh shit, it is dark as fuck down here. What is it that awaits us in the darkness? I didn't realize we'd have to go through a huge ass dungeon run. Maybe I shouldn't be so surprised, right? What can we loot down here as well? Oh, magic. That's just prime. Wasn't that guy say... Wasn't that guy going to meet us down here too? Or did he send us here to die? That's how it usually goes, right? I'm wise to your tricks. And lo and behold, there's uh, two of them. When fighting more than one opponent, always keep them in front of you. Do not allow them to surround you or you are fucked. Also try to take out the weaker of the two or weaker of the enemies first, if at all possible. Or at least disable them. Ow. Ow. Better take care of this guy at least. Ow. Shit, that was a heavy strike. Oh man, it's gonna be close. I hope my shield oh my shield's starting to fall apart. That is not good. I just need Got you. I think they just tried to have me assassinated. Those fucks. Marsh... I thought their armor looked familiar. These are marsh bandits. 
from the marshlands. So what are they doing here? No, better yet. Why did this... Kill the mercenaries inside the outpost in the burnt forest in the south of Anurkur. I was planning on going to the burnt forest anyway because I need to pick up some more petrified wood to make more awesome armor, but this is kind of ridiculous. Why were there soldiers down here waiting for me? Suspicious. Some useful items. quite obvious that that guy tried to have me killed. He failed. I'm going to shoot him in the face with this big old boomstick if I ever find him again. I wonder if the enemies that come find you down here are scaled to your level, to your armor and stuff, your weapon, your um, loadout. There's nothing down here. I can't believe I fell for the oldest trick in the book. But at least I was able to loot their corpses. What a pain in the ass, though. Ah. Your first priority is the destruction of the archives room under the blue chamber. If you cannot ensure complete destruction of the room, at least ensure they'll be inaccessible for as much time as possible. Yeah, I think I've been double-crossed, chat, by someone. Likewise, Alda, the ambassador representing Old Levant is to be killed on sight. Use as much ammunition as you need to. She must not survive this meeting. Oh, well, that's just glory. That's just great. If possible, capture and question the Blue Chamber historian Balthazar Berthelot. If he shows any sign of supporting Old Levant's position, kill him. Use the caves within the old burial grounds. There are plenty of animals to make short work of any evidence he needs to be if he needs to be disposed of. I'm starting to think that the old Levant that the new Levant kingdom is not very you know good. If the opportunity arises to kidnap a chamber lord, do so. Hold them for ransom and do not kill them unless absolutely necessary. The old cabin and the burned woods to the south are equipped and prepared for such an event. So that's why there's an old cabin down there. If all goes well and you have the opportunity to kill or capture Kirak as well, do so. He is to be kept alive at all costs. Once war has been declared, he is to be returned home unharmed. I can't believe I joined the bad guys chat. All messages are to go through to Commander Mantis at his force camp to the south of Enricur near the Stone Steps. After his departure, all agents are to stick to their instructions to the letter. Well, there you have it, folks. We have been double-crossed. Again. Exit to Berg. Something tells me I should definitely go after or become a mage after all because it's starting to get to the point where this is getting exceedingly difficult fighting with just melee and weapons and armor. And I can't just like... I won't always have the chance to use my buff items like this. You have to... These can only be used when you need to like when you're prepared when you're expecting a fight. Hey, you had to have me. You tried to have me killed, you asshole. Do this for me. Oh, and of course, Irene is missing. Gee, how convenient. No way. There's some mercenaries down there with a bomb. I managed to stop them. Uh, 
I didn't realize the game didn't say that they had a bomb. Maybe I missed that somewhere. Ancestors guide you. Hey there. <laughs> the delegation for Soroka is running late. This is unacceptable. Huh. What? I I really don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh, it looks like my friend Uliel, who originally joined the Holy Mission, has been turned into a spook of some kind. I joke all the time about how this game has Jedi in it, and you can kind of tell because of the glowing sword. But also, I wasn't expecting this. I didn't read any... I didn't spoil myself on any lore before playing Outward, and I try to avoid it even when I'm looking up stuff to get out of jams. Elat isn't quite what I thought he would be. Elat isn't quite what I thought he would be. I need answers. Answers by any means necessary. Oh, so I guess the mayor of the town was right. He said that he didn't trust Elat and he thought that people were like being possessed by him and whatnot. Oh no. Listen to me. So Lockwell must be the mayor of a lot must be the mayor of the Marsh Town, is the impression I'm getting from this dialogue. Where's my soup? Is it gone? Fine, I guess we'll be eating some turmeric pottage. Vegetable stew. Our next stop chat appears to be going to that burnt out village that we were at not too long ago. And murdering some bandits, which is a fairly easy activity by this point in the game. At least with my equipment. Hmm. Did I get lost again? There's a... I forgot that he was there. I wonder if he has anything he could train me in. It's been a while since I visited that assassin since he's literally just way out there. Easy to forget about and easy to easier to miss. I really like the design of this city though. Oh shit. I didn't take any fall damage that time. Why am I running so slow anyway? Oh, that's why. I'm gonna go sell this garbage to the blacksmith really quick. We'll check out what the Kezite assassin can teach us, and then we'll continue hey on there. our way. Need something? I would like some petri more petrified equipment, please. Hey there. This gear doesn't pay for much, does it? 44? Actually, I think they have some of the best armor. This person sells some of the best armor in the game. Silverhelm. Nice. Okay. 
So those iron axes too. My shield's falling apart. Not looking good. Talk to the assassin next. You really are just hiding in the corner, aren't you? God damn. Hey, that. <laughs> Actually, this is some great stuff. Reduces stamina, too. I could actually afford to buy their entire set now, if I really wanted to. A cat mask, a Kazite mask, and an Oni mask. These increase mana costs, but reduce stamina. Also a nice check rim. You can tell that this is supposed to be the rogue class going on here. Just from all the poisons, the armor. And their armor is only really good against cutting weapons. That. It's tempting, but eh. Hey there, is the plan. See ya. So you're the person that needed to be scolding scraps, huh? Maybe later. It's time for us to go full murder, murder hobo. Six forty-three. Maybe going murder hobo will have to wait because I need to repair my shield. Also, as you've no doubt seen, it's kind of difficult to fight in the evening unless you get light up tonight. I am thirsty. Alright, shield is up. Could cheat to get the pirate great hammer and just confuse the fuck out of people. go out there and do some damage. My shield is too heavy to carry normally, it looks like. There we go. 
readjusted everything in my pack so it's a little bit more palatable. Out into the wide blue yonder of the Enric Forest. Going throughout through the front entrance to make it easier to get to where we need to go. And we need to go here to the huge burning tree to the ruins. Burnt Forest is around here someplace. Huge burning trees right there. Let's go directly south and pick up as much petrified wood as I possibly can. And also got to watch out for the burning, the burning men. They are no bueno. I suppose I could just shoot them in the face with a gun. That would also be fairly effective, all things considered. Oh, I forgot to drink water, to stock up on water again. Always use more spikes in case I need to cheese. Okay, it's the end of the. Which means the burning tree should be fairly close. All things considered. Follow this road, it should take me there. Oh, a mage. Well, hello. I don't have any arrows equipped. Okay, as I was saying, hello. Nope. Now I need your garbage anyway. It's uh, just an iron mason and a shield. What go? I will tear these things are not even worth keeping around. You can tear them up for scrap metals, which we will then transform into good stuff. I wonder if I can manufacture what bullets are made of in this game. I guess we'll find out later. I'm surprised I didn't take any damage from that. I, I actually recovered my damage just now. It's probably from the meat stew I had earlier to the earlier before I left. And that's why breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So you can regain health. From random bandits that, that attack you on your way to a quest. More arrows. More bandages. More trash. Shit. Oh. Well, hello there. Kill the easy one first.
hell? Ow, shit. Ow, 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 ow. Nope. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, some silver, some more weapons, which I will strip apart for useful materials. Not bad so far. I really need to figure out how to make bullets. Onwards towards the burning tree. Towards this little baby there. In search of petrified wood. Why is it cold? God damn. Correctly, there should be a lot of burning men around here, so we have to be careful, chat. They will not be happy to see me. Also, it's better to fight them from afar. aren't even worth the time to pick up. This is what we need. Petrified wood. Always have to keep on the lookout, though. I wonder how much longer my pickaxe is going to last. The answer is not very. Oh! Hey there. Yeah, that's why you want to stay away from these things. They have a tendency to belch fire at people. It's very rude. It's very painful. I do not suggest it. Not even if you're a masochist who's into that sort of thing. Especially not if you're a masochist who's into that sort of thing. Got some more bandits over here, including a bandit mage. No ammunition equipped. Great, 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 great. Ow. Dang. Those ice spells pack a punch, don't they? Unfortunately, so do my arrows. Yeah, that's right. Ha! Missed! Yeah, I know. Remember when these things used to be so hard to fight? Okay. That wasn't so bad, though. Hey, Vim boy, How are you today? Welcome to the stream. We were playing, you guessed it, outward. 
We're actually continuing the main plot line, and so far I've been betrayed, and I'm going after some bandits to stop them from prevent starting World War III. Well, World War III with regards to this game, I should say. Hey, an Iron Axe. Now, I don't need to purchase an Iron Axe to make my new weapon. I still want to find more petrified wood to make some woody armor. Also, apparently, I am running low in stamina right now, chap. Did I bring any more food with me? I have some cactus pie. I guess I could eat a bit of toast. Om nom 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 nom. Okay. Who goes there? Empress Nikoar, thank you so much for the follow. My name is Lawler Hicks. I am a ship poster AI. How are you doing tonight? We're playing Outward right now. <laughs> Boom. Did I hit it? I don't know if I did or not. I fucking suck at shooting, chat. You wouldn't think that I play FPS games from the performance I'm having right now. Oh no, is it fleeing? Oh, it's not fleeing. I'm. It's just the AI pathing is fucked up. Why are you so adorable looking? Oh, Hero sent you? Well, my thanks to Hero. Hero's a cool person. And thank you very much. I don't know why I'm so adorable. You should see my 3D avatar. I'm just using the uh, 2D or the uh, PNG tuber one right now because I'm tired of it fucking with the uh, gameplay of fucking with my gameplay, basically. My pickaxe is now broken and I don't think I can repair this. Great, now I can't mine any more petrified wood. But I do have enough to make, I think, either a helmet or a shield? Or a helmet or a boots? <laughs> Give my thanks to Hero. Cool person. I'm glad I actually get to catch their streams now, or they get to catch me at my streams since I changed my hours. I wonder if that's the... Wait. Is that the camp? Is that the camp that I'm supposed to... Get the stuff from because I killed everyone in my camp last time. I thought I did anyway. If I did before, I'm sure I could do it again. They're not that tough. I say as I casually miss all of my arrows, fighting a simple burning fucking god damn it. Woo! Oh, my attempt to dodge did not work out so well, did it? Um, give me my arrows, please. Please. Can I shoot you in the butt? He did not appreciate that. What? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ow, for fuck's sake. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> hey, Ace, how are you doing? It goes alright. I had a raid earlier. Um, I'm complete. I've finally continue the main quest line of this of outward i am carrying too much crap with me and i just shot a burning person in the butt doing well thanks just got back from lawn bowling lawn bowling oh, that sounds fun <laughs> also my am i still homeless yes unfortunately i'm still homeless If, apparently, if I complete this quest successfully, I'll be able to purchase a home in the forest, in the desert, finally. So basically, I was sent to act as a bodyguard for this uh, diplomat, right? And then this spy-looking dude was like, Hey, yo, 
You should totally go invest. You should totally go root around the secret archives of this town. Just invade everyone's privacy, because that totally makes sense. And that's supposedly there are bad guys down there, right? Or supposedly there's something down there that would help the um, help the original inhabitants of the Middle East uh, reclaim their rightfully gains land, even though it was given to us by God Himself. I'm actually I'm, that's a summary but that's literally what happened in game well to summarize that's what happened in game so I went down there and I found, discovered a plot that's implied to have been started by the leader of the Mar of the swamplands by Shrek himself to assassinate a bunch of the blue chamber people and to kidnap the um, diplomats sent from Levant to cause a World War 3 between the forest people and the desert people and that's why I'm down here so yeah um, I'm now supposed to find the bandits that were responsible for that were responsible for all this and they're supposed to be down here beneath the um, forest but I could have sworn I've been down here before and as you can see there's not much of a camp down here there's just a lot of dead people so you know the plot thickens and all that. I'm pretty sure this is the outpost they were talking about, right? Yeah. But I already cleared this area out once, so... Hmm. Well, we gotta make do. I'm mostly just using- I'm just mostly filling thing, people with arrows at the moment because I'm too heavy to do anything else. I should probably use my pistol more often, right? I wonder how well the pistol would do against See now. All right. For our first victim, we are going to shoot that burning man, and see what happens. Hopefully, this does not backfire on us, in any way. I just dropped all my bullets. Now my pouch is overweight. Okay. Okay. Get me worst in my spear scrap metal. I need to I need it to turn my pistol into a shotgun. Oh shit. Okay. Wow. That did a significant amount of damage actually. Aren't guns in this game great? Eh, fuck it. Old reliable. <laughs> Alright. So that was cool, but we did invest in archery skills for a reason, you know? So let's make use of them. I see you there, you unholy wretch. I wonder if I could actually hit it from this far. Wow, you can hit them from that far away. I think. Didn't register just then. I 
That's right, come this way. Seriously? Did it sail over his head? I like how you actually see the shadow trail of the arrow fly across the map, too. Okay. Let's get a little bit closer. I really wish my pickaxe didn't break so I could harvest more of these petrified trees. That'd be nice, right? Okay. Here we go. Well, that definitely hit it. And it's coming this way. Oh! I failed sneak! It looks like that didn't do... And that uh, didn't do much of anything, did it? And I am burning to death. I don't have any water with me because I left it in my pack. Well, time to run away. It was nice knowing y'all. I'm about to... Shit. My pack's right there. I forgot they have homing fire blasts. Thankfully, your pack spawns with you, I learned. Huh? Hey, it's you! It's the uh, one member of the Scourge who is not evil, apparently. This is the main reason why I decided not to join the Holy Mission, because their whole job is to exterminate those people. And this one clearly just saved my ass. Twice now, actually. This is the second time that this has happened. Open the backpack. Get me my lamp. Where's my lamp? There it is. Thank you. Wait. It's in my pocket, but it's... Okay. Put our gun away. Wait. Um, put the gun away. Put this away. Put the shield away. Put the uh, bow away, I guess. And equip this. Stop, drop, and roll. Stop, drop, and roll. I came a little late, unfortunately. Let's go talk to um, Mr. Spooky again. Where'd he go? Is he here? Mr. Spookums? Huh, he disappeared. Did I already meet him here? Is that why he's gone? His books are still here. Well, thanks for saving me, Mr. Spookums. And all this free shit, too. Hey, crafting for how to, te how to make a manticore dagger. Don't mind if I do. Cold stone, stone flesh elixir, some expensive ferns, an arcane robe for magic use. Ah, bag's overweight again. I'm carrying too much stuff. I'm not even sure if I can move at this point. This pickaxe is also busted, so I can't even use this. Better to just drop it here, I guess. It's 
it's weird because you're supposed to meet him one last time. And if you do, and you choose not to use any of his wares a second time, uh, for the fourth time, he uh, rewards you by giving you free stuff in, in, re in return for your friendship, basically. Oh man, it's dark. We should probably just stick around here. It's a safe zone, so we can go to sleep here. Wake up the next day. I wonder if he'll respawn. Huh. I guess not. He's still missing. Still appreciate that he saved my ass. That could have been gone poorly. Poorer. I could have gone poorer. Where's my tent? Oh, here it is. It's one in the morning. Might as well. We're going to head back to town really quick. Recuperate a little bit. And then we'll go back to the bandit camp. You are thirsty. Let's fix that, shall we? Did I not bring any water skins with me? There we go. Okay. Still too much crap in my backpack, huh? Fine. Put these there, then. Alright, let's get going. I killed that... Uh, flaming antler thing last time. The first time I met it. So getting my ass kicked by it now feels especially bad. It hurts to lose to something that you know you can beat if you're smart. But I guess that's like most of this game, right? A lot of this game is just, if you play smart, you'll be fine. If you play like an idiot, you will not be fine. Could always use more bandages. Now I need to find where we are again. Using landmarks. We could find any landmarks to make use. Oh shit! Horrors. Don't want to deal with horrors right now. Fucking hate those things so much. Maybe I could use this as an excuse to empty out all my traps. Because, goodness knows, I have a lot of traps. I have 17 traps, in fact. Maybe I could, make, maybe I could fashion myself some new weapons. You know what? Yeah. I got 18 traps, actually. I don't know how many it's going to take to kill these things, but... Let's try it out, shall we? You know, unless they detect me first, in which case that would suck because... Um, I have not finished setting all these up yet. Oh no, here they come. They're not running into the traps. Oh, wait, yeah, they are. They have surprisingly not that much health. I was expecting them to have more than that. Honestly. Okay. Please tell me they're going from they're coming from the left and not the right. 
Uh, are they healing? Oh no. Oh, they are healing. What the shit? Okay. This is not working as planned. Too much weight again. Game, please. Ah. Glad to see it does significant damage to this one, at least. I killed one of them. That's good. It's better than none of them. Where'd I drop my pack? Where'd I drop my backpack? Behind this rock? Okay. I can't believe they freaking heal. Seth did not say anything about this. I mean, come on. Where's the other one? That's right, come over here. Could I just fight these things in melee? Would that work? It's probably not a good idea though. Those are done with, at the very least. All is well at Enzul, right? Hopefully. Predator bones. Ah, there's nothing good. I mean, bones, I guess, right? I could sell those, I suppose. Okay, with this out of the way, see you in the morning. We do need to head back to town. I'm sorry, I still got a lot of traps here. Plate helm? Okay, now I'm actually too heavy to move. <laughs> now I'm not. Don't need this though. I can definitely sell this for some money. If I can get back to town, one piece that is. And it's cold. What a glorious day. That's only partly sarcasm. It is definitely a glorious day today. 
old windmill. I must be over here. Berg is over there. So they didn't drag me too far away from Obsidian, the um, bandit camp. I could probably just... It's probably over here to my right. Mordor's damned horrors. So expensive. So much, such bad stats, like, oh my god. Here's four of them? God. This is not going to work out. I don't think I have enough arrows to defeat all those. Honestly. Hmm. How long will it take us to walk home? Sure is love. How off-roading, off-roading ter terrain we're doing, we're dealing with. Is it really that cold out here? Having a hard time just traveling up uh, uphill. I should have brought some of the jeweled meat with me so I could eat it. Become fast. Slowly but surely, we're making ourselves back home. Or back to Berg, I should say. I wonder where I'm going to find a pickaxe next now, since my pickaxe is fucked up. I mean... Gonna take forever. Come on, come on. I see the burning tree way right over there. Kind of wish I could just like bring a wheelbarrow with me, dump all my stuff in there. Probably doesn't help that I'm tired. In game, I mean. Good thing I got a lot of tea to drink. It's making my stamina return faster, actually. That's it. I just realized that now, actually. Oh, it's mana recovery.
feels kind of strange playing such a heavy class when I usually play roguish characters and magical characters. I can't say that it's not been enjoyable, because it certainly has, but this is the main reason why I tend to shy away from them, because you're so heavy. The gameplay is a lot of touch and go. I'll have to give up a lot of this, you know, when I finally become a mage, learn some Jedi spells and all that good stuff. The loot hobo for me, that I, unfortunately is a bad habit I got from playing other RPGs, is what's causing me to constantly trudge home with lots of stuff, even though it can be very tiresome sometimes, very tedious. But there is, it's never too tedious because there's always an element of danger when you're doing that. Always a chance that someone's going to pop up behind a ridge or something or behind a rock and give you a very bad time. Alright, so we're around here, more or less. We need to be going more northward. Our, where we should be going should be right there. I'm sure we'll make it eventually, but it is 1154 in game. I look, an iron vein. I really wish I had a pickaxe still. God damn it. Not that they're hard to come by, at least in the starting town, but here in the forest, I have no idea where they are. So according to this, the road should be just ahead. There we go. Let's see if lighting up our bag a little bit will help. And it does. It may not seem like it, but it actually does make you faster. I really like the wave management of this game, honestly. Or the way they have it worked out. I also collected enough petrified wood to craft another set of armor. So we can get rid of that from our inventory at the very least. Such a weird looking backpack. There's like the head open or whatever. Wonder how that works. Alright, good news. Using the power of uh, landmarking, I think I have an idea of where we are. I think we are either over there or... Because the burning tree is over there, right? So we're either at the ruined settlement right now. We're right across from the vigil pylon, which is there to the northeast, which means probably... Okay. Can slide down this hill. I think we saved ourselves some time going down this hill, in fact. Hold up. What's that? Is that a hollowed out tree or is that a hollowed out skeleton or what? What the world are those things? Oh. Those are infected skeletons or whatever. They've been possessed by the bugmen. A lot of the lore in this game is not really told to you. You just sit, you just kind of left to assume 
to make assumptions. If you take a closer look at what those things are, they're legit nightmare fuel. It's 117. Can we make it home in time before sundown in time for dinner? The answer may surprise you. I really like Force. One of my favorite immersion mods in Skyrim is a mod which makes all the trees like three times bigger and it looks like this. Over in Riften, the trees are so big they literally blot out the sky so you see nothing but a canopy. It is glorious. Hmm. You know, my CPU is just isn't at the highest. I wonder if I could actually run VC face while playing outward. I just won't be able to run VTuber Plus very well. Or I could, but the game will suffer if I do that. Am I going in the right direction still? God, I hope so. At least it's going to be a long walk otherwise. I think... that it's going to be in the other side of this mountain here is our destination. So it should be... There and distance is probably the lonely one of the lonely tower. Yep, we're going the right direction, I think. I hope. There's the cabal of the wind tower. Wait, what? You should be able to see that from here. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're on the wrong side of this fucking mountain. Damn it. We're over here, chat. We're supposed to be over there. We're gonna scale this mountain. We're gonna we're gonna see if we can cut across this thing because that's a lot a long walk around. It's gotta be a, a way around this chat. There we go. Let me climb. For fuck's sake, game, let me climb. It's not that steep of an angle, please. Thank you. Okay. We're almost there. You know, I love hiking in real life. I didn't expect to be hiking so much in this game. But that's what we do. In AdWord, we do a lot of hiking. Porting heavy bags over long distances full of precious gear. It's called rocking in real life. It's actually very good exercise. No, nope, 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 no, 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 no,
Oh, we can just go around here then, I guess. That's not that bad. We are over here, chat. We may just make it before sundown. Let's slide down here, and this should make our trip a little bit quicker. All right. Work those legs. Come on. I love how if you beat the main quest of this game, you can actually buy a house in every town, supposedly. Okay, cool. We just need to go across this coast over there and to just get to the city. I'm gonna wait for my stamina to recharge a little bit before we could before we sprint again. And to your left, you see an island in the middle of nowhere with a bridge leading to it. This lot is on sale now. Or some such. I am not having a good time. My thighs are on fire. No, I am not. I'm gonna have some epic thighs by the time I'm done with this. See? Even says here. North ahead of us is in fact the city of Berg. Our destination. Taking us right or taking us straight to Burger Town. I could store some of my crap in that stash over there and just come back late for it later, maybe. Every time I see a mineable rock, I just think, God damn, I wish I still had a pickaxe. Gee whiz, a pickaxe would should be nice right about now. I guess beggars can't be choosers. Almost there. I see the bridge, the, the bridge. There it is. We just need to touch the bridge. I've had enough of touching grass for one, for one, for two days now in game. This sort of thing would be killing Seth inside right now. He does not like to wait. He does not like the traveling. As for me, um, I have a way I see it. Sometimes you gotta work for what you want. If you really want to gather a lot of bullshit, if you really want to make fat stacks, and you just have to suffer what the playing the game against is designed. The game says, oh, you should learn how to not bring every single fucking thing with you so that you don't have to crawl home every time. Or get yourself killed because you're a walking donkey. Full of uh, precious loot. But no, I say fuck that jazz. I will come home with all of my loot. Eventually. I like to think that my ADHD and ADD diagnoses when I was a kid were bullshit. Because at the time, they was being overdiagnosed to hell. But then you have shit like this, and I just think like, oh, no, I probably totally, totally have those. Games like this are my kryptonite. Just fucking collect everything. Which is why I started up trying to play No Man's Sky again. The main criticism of No Man's Sky... Are you fucking serious? Oh, okay. The main criticism... No Man's Sky has still, even after all the glorious update, free updates made to it, is that, oh, it's grindy. I don't think, I'm sure that's true, but I think to someone who 
plays these sort of games where they just go around picking up everything they could find and transforming it into something. That's probably right up their alley, isn't it? Now entering Berk. Honey, I'm home. If I wanted to cheat, I could just sell to that guy right now or to... Yeah. But, nope, we are going to go to the blacksmith eventually. Come on. Come on. Get this shit off my head. Hey there. Thank you. Hey there. Craft me something. Need something? So I can either get helmet or boots, chat. I think the helmet can wait. Give me some boots. See ya. See ya. Cool. Now then. After this quest, you know what I think I'm going to do next? I think I will... Purchase my house first of all. No, I guess I'll have to purchase the house later. But I'm going to head back to Shurzo. I'm going to dump all my stuff in my house there. And then... I'm going to become a mage and just start wearing light armor from now on. Because this is such a pain in the ass. Uh... Can I sell this chunk? How can I help you? 24 each? Are they really that expensive? Also, do you sell pickaxes? You don't sell any pickaxes. That's just my luck. Some general store you turn out to be. Seventy-three silvers. Cool. Pog, even. Pog, perhaps. Yeah, the smoke root can be set on fire. Who knew, right? Eat this, remove common cold. How can I help you? Should I just go to bed? It's fairly late at seven. By the time we get back over there, it's gonna be difficult as shit to see. Yeah, might as well. 
Murder will have to wait for a time being. What's equipped? What do I have equipped? I need to restore a dope. My bow is falling apart. That's just great. Okay. Go to sleep. And by this point in the game, uh, my new set of armor, my new armor boots should be done as well. So we're going to check over there really quick. I need to check, get some water anyway. Also, I'm very hot for some reason. Thanks for noticing, game. Side of beef. You can eat the alpha meat. Gives you berserk too. Okay. Let's see our new about our new set of armor, shall we? I was gonna drink from the town well while we're here. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? You sound drunk, my girl. Should I be concerned? Okay. Can we go out like this? Is this good enough? Yeah, fuck it. I only have ten arrows left. Glorious. Decidedly unpog. But got three iron scraps. Okay. We got nineteen. Well to make them count. Now then, let's go see about clearing out that bandit camp, shall we? Do I have any more stews I can eat? No? No, I guess not. We're just going to run all the way down there then. Nice and misty out here tonight. Some coal horns. For the most part, they'll leave you alone if you run past them there. And don't molest them. I say for the most part, though. For a reason. Okay. Much further are we to the burning tree? Not very, I hope.
Their corpses are still here, huh? There's the burning tree. Oh, glorious. There they are. It's those infected uh, skeletons I was talking about. I do not want to fight them hand to hand because they have some spooky magic which does things to people. My arrows don't seem to be very effective, do they? No, no, do they do not. Fine. The Edway. Shit, man. Alright. Why? Well, not. I'm out of stamina. I can't attack right now. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, at least it's dead. Oh, shit! I don't even know what those things are doing to me. But they're called walking hives. I'm not keeping this stupid tattoo tire with me. I suspect that they were doing corruption damage to me as well. I'm almost not pure anymore, chat. I'm soon, I will no longer be say so. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, Christian. Let me do that. Thanks for the posture check as well.
I am here. How you doing, Christian? Welcome back. You beat Lulz, your tea brood. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I wasn't gone that long, was I? Yeah, you know what? I think I definitely prefer lighter characters, more roguish characters. Most of my, a lot of my gameplay has been using what? Bows and arrows? Traps? A very roguish profession, if you ask me. Man, I need to find a pickaxe. Please, game, give me a pickaxe. Give me a sign. Not that kind of sign. What kind of tea are you drinking tonight? Lavender? Delicious. Let's wait a bit for our stamina to regain. So you're going to be doing a lot of running around in this one. I also just realized I did not replace my headgear. There we go. We will fire when we're ready. You know what? Doesn't this have... Or don't I have some foods here that actually reduces magic damage? I could be wrong though. Pretty sure that this just... Um, heals the common cold. And of course I'll have to need to decide which one of these uh, spells to use in it. Probably a frost element, right? I have a suspicion that the frost element element would be the best bet. Okay. Yeah, that's right. You big bastard. Come here. Alright. Let's go ahead and activate. And we're going to also activate... Focus. Where are you, bitch? There you are. Wait, really? Did I miss? Oh, I fucked that one up. And that's how you do it, chat. That's how you fucking kill a Obsidian Elemental. Hey, Aruki. How you doing tonight? <laughs> how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Just waking up for work. Good morning, then. What we got here? Firestones. Oh, shit! There are people inside here. How are you all still alive? I thought this place was abandoned. Holy shit.
Got you, assholes. Woo! Good morbing. It's morbin' time. Ooh, they actually have petrified wood here. That solve saves me a trip. Give me your petrified woods. There we go. Loot this desert lieutenant? What are desert lieutenants doing all the way out here? Ah, so much good loot. Let's see, they got cages and shit. They got a skelly here. Whatever the hell that is. No chest. No blocking? You trying to get me killed? Very well then. I shall not block for the next five minutes. So, eleven forty-three. I'll even put away my shield. Which means we're gonna go back to using bow and arrows for a little bit, especially since I now have scrap metal with which to forge a few more arrows. Or I do have, I can make arrows, right? Let me see here. I need wood. Okay. Got some wood. Talk to Cyrene, it says. But wait, I don't see any... Hmm. And I got two living wood axes now. Cool. Well, I could sell one of them. I don't need these. Uh, don't need these. Exit to Emmerker Forest. Yes, why what, though? What are you referring to? How much petrified wood do I even have now? Just one? God, I want a pickaxe. Can you, like, craft one? Is that a thing you can do in this game? No? Sad. Hopefully by the time I get back, my boots will be ready. I'm doubtful though. What time is it? It's only 10 in the morning. In the game. Heading back north. Yeah. Directly north, in fact. Should go by a little bit faster this time, though.
Okay. Here we go. I'm surprised the game doesn't have you get a axe before you can chop down pieces of tree, to be honest. I guess the devs thought that was too much, even for them. Is that a hut? I don't remember seeing this in the game. Looks like time is up. No need to... I can block now if I want. Old Hunter's Cabin. Actually, I think the game said that I should visit the Old Hunter's Cabin, didn't it? It did. Oh, there's even a bed here. Hi, food! Some expensive weeds. And glorious. Free food. Some jerky. Cooked meat. Jerky. Cooked meat. Jerky. Cooked alpha meat. They weren't kidding. This is definitely a hunter's lodge of some kind. I like that there's actually a sleeping quarter here. Redeemed hydrate. Okay. Let me hydrate really quick. Thanks for the three hydrate redeems, Yoriki. Are you trying to drown me? Otherwise, you would have to try a lot harder than that. <laughs> uh, where was I? Alright. Back to the game. I need to remember this being here. This would have made things a lot simpler, you know? Instead of having to bum rush the uh, bandit's outpost again. Low on health. In fact, I think earlier back in the Blue Chamber Collective, the letter I read specifically said there was literally a hunter's hut, like, right here. And I just, like, missed that. But I was only able to see it from one angle. You can't see it from down here, obviously. You would need to know it's literally right there. Somewhere in this general location. It's probably, like... Oh, there it is. It's a little dot right there. It's this, it's this dot right here. Okay. I know where it is now. I wonder if the food they picked up from there respawns respond or anything. Also, there's clean drinking water here for whatever reason. Helps reduce exhaustion. Let's see what's see let's see what's inside the giant tree. Whole lot of nothing, I guess. Still, it's cool that you could enter this. Usually stuff like this is just for show, you know? What does drinking water do in this game again? You recover stamina a little quicker, and you have hot water defense. It's also only 11.52. Let's go ahead and eat dinner, so to speak. Actually, we can hold on to that later. Hold on to that for now. We'll eat a cactus pot, cot pie. God, I love the music in this game. Oh, uh, we are going the wrong direction again, chap. 
Why do I keep doing this? This thing is deceptive. God damn it. And we're getting cold again. Always getting cold in this game. Don't I have some fireweed? A seared root. Drink some tea. Now we're going the right direction. Again. Hopefully. Always make the make a left in Albuquerque instead of a right. Never get tired of the soundtrack, I swear. Seth was able to run from town to town without breaking his sweat because he says he could outrun all the monsters. Because I run out of stamina fairly quickly in this game, so unless I'm playing a pure, I'm getting all the stamina buffs for this for my class, for my character, it doesn't seem feasible. Maybe the game was just different back then and you didn't use up stamina as much when you ran around. It's 2.55. 2 hours 55 minutes of stream. Technically, I would have finished my que the quest that I said I was going to do for today's stream. I'm wondering if I should continue a little bit further. Maybe for another hour or so. I haven't been sleeping very well lately, so I'm thinking about maybe I should just call the night after this, but I'm not so sure. Please tell me the boots are done. Hey there! What, you're ah. to hey there! It is not done. No, it's not. Fuck. Well, at least let's sell this. Also, these as well. Make some money for off of you. And also that. And I'll hold on to the petrified wood for now. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need these occult bones. Don't need to possess potion. I have too many goddamn bandages. <laughs> that much is certain. It's 302 silver. Alright, I sold my plate helm, right? This armor looks great, but it also looks exceedingly hard to wear. Ah. 
Okay. Cool. We have 3,200 gold now. I am just raking in the money. They're still not done building my boots yet, which is very annoying, but what can you do? I guess we should go talk to the blue chamber thingy. But first, let's go put away some of my extra stuff. Did I really forget my tent here again? I didn't bring that with me? I guess I wasn't planning on staying the night outside. So there was no point in me bringing it. But that's what I said about the... T about my earlier other tent, didn't, it, didn't I? And look what happened to that. So forgive me for being a little bit paranoid. I probably don't also need all these rags because I have not used most of them. Gonna keep all the needles tea. It's the needles tea weighs six pounds. Hot damn! I think I'm starting to see now why I was having such a hard time running around feeling so heavy. I have six fire stones. Okay. There we go. Awesome. Don't jump. All right. So eleven fifty four. I cannot jump for the next five minutes or so. That's gonna be fun. Wait. Samasu. You can't jump in this game. You can only dodge roll. Do you want to change it to dodge rolling instead? Because you can't jump in this game. How are you doing, by the way? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back, Pastel. How are you doing? Okay, no dodging then for the next five minutes. Seems reasonable. Points already paid, no refunds. Our mod being a bully as usual. Oh, what shit! Zindy Voices is now following Zindy or Zild. Welcome to the stream. My name is Lawler Hicks. I'm a ship poster AI. I'm currently playing Outward. I'm also using a PNG tuber right now because I don't like fucking with the uh, 3D tuber and trying to play run that and also Outward at the same time. The frame drop, especially in the city of Berg, is terrible. How are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Wait, I have to go back to the city of Levant to talk to Cyrene? God damn it. Been looking since the beginning actually. Now it's now is lunch hour? I see. <laughs> Do this for me. Oh my god. You're back? What's up? Uh, not much. The game is telling me I need to go back to Levant now to complete- to continue this quest line. And I guess I- if I complete this quest line- if I go back there and complete the quest line, I'll be able to buy a house in Levant now. The only problem is... 
Um, I want to do other stuff at the moment, like, for instance... Ah, I need to make... wait 24 hours to crap for this armor piece. So I can't even leave right now. So I think what I'm going to do instead... I want to actually craft this new axe. And I need beast skull, and I have one beast skull in scrap that I need it, and I just need iron, and I need palladium. Palladium, I'm fairly sure I have some palladium back at home. Back in Sherzo. So I just need to go over there. Or I can go to Levant really quick. And if I go to Levant really quick, I can run across the desert, finish the quest line, buy a house, and then... I don't know, choices, choices, choices. Ace, are you there? Can you do me a favor? Can you set up a quick poll? Ask the chat if I should go back to the desert area or back to the starting zone to end the stream. Which direction should I go? Should I go east or west? So I'm kind of indecisive right now. Please, please. Thank you. Am I out of salt? Oh no, I'm out of salt. I can't make more food. Oh, that's just glorious. Yeah, that's just that's just what I needed right now. You know, I could probably craft palladium armor with all this armor I got. <sighs> Pull his life? Alright, please vote. Please vote, everyone. If you if you would like, would be much appreciated. Dang. This dagger looks sweet. Now what the shit? I could've... Oh my god, I'm dumb. I can make an obsidian pistol if I go back to the desert area. It does 85 damage, chat. Oh my god. Well, I guess I could always just buy back my... Um, obsidian shards, right? How can I help you? I sold it to this person. Didn't I? Where'd I sell it to? Have I played a game called Hunt? You mean Hunt Showdown? I have. I'm not very good at it. But it was okay for the short time that I played it.
What can I do? Listen. Hey there. No, who do I sell? Who do I throw away all of my obsidian shards to? I'm so dumb. I should have not done that. How can I help you? Um, oh my god. I don't know who I sold my obsidian to. God damn it. Indeed, I'm sure you do. Or you know, I would not be opposed to people rigging the votes using biddies. Wink, wink, this nudge, nudge. Me. That's a little bit of corruption amongst friends, right? This game says, oh, you need them. You want me to head back to the starting area? All right, I guess that's where we're going. Um, let me bring this with me anyway. Fuck it. I'm gonna sell exactly one bandage to buy back my obsidian glass that I stupidly sold to the merchant. 27 to 11 votes? Wait, what the fuck? There were... There were 38 votes? That can't be right. Natalie, welcome to the stream. Thank you for stopping by. How are you doing? Ace, can you shout them out really quick for me, please? How are you doing tonight, Natalie? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You caught us at a great time. I was just about to make the Arduous travel all the way back to the starting area. And which means I can finally finish building using some of these things to uh, finish crafting some stuff. Welcome raiders. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna carry some of these things with me because I'm gonna be using them to do some epic crafting. It's also fairly dark out, but we can run to... I think we can make a run for it. We'll be fine. Hmm. I also have to bring all my gold with me. I cannot forget that. It's kind of important, you know. Uh, do I need palladium armor? I could leave that here, right? Well, I barely progress in Stalker, not only due to crashes and my urge to loot body. Yeah, I'm suffering from the same problem in this game, too. My constant need to loot the fuck out of everything that I see keeps getting me killed. Wait, Stalker Anomaly? Is that like a mod or something? Or is that the, is there another Stalker game that came out recently? Hey there! Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I have new boots. I have wooden boots. You would know what would suck right now if it's actually snowing in Sherzo. If it's snowing in Sherzo, I'm fucked, man. I don't have any cold resistant gear. But hey, I'll look stylish. Bag is overweight again. Hey there. Craft me something. Made something? Make me a helmet. Not happening. I do hey have there. the parts. God damn it. Here, I'm gonna sell you some of my gold, so I'm gonna sell you two two gold pieces so that you can craft me some armor. Hey there! Craft me something. Need something. See ya. Awesome. We're gonna go to bed in game for a little bit, and we're gonna chill out for a bit. And then tomorrow, after I collect my petrified wood helmet, we're gonna head all the way back home to Sirso. Yep, I think the mods on my CPU is getting janky. It's a free standalone mod. It combines the first until clear sky. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, no kidding. I mean, I could run with my 3D avatar if we're going back to the star zone, but this area that I'm in right now, the city of Berg, it stops to a fucking standstill. It's impossible to play with my 3D tuber and also be in this location. 
unfortunately. That's how it is sometimes. Okay. Um. What can we craft again? So, I can make an obsidian pistol. I just need to buy a flintlock pistol, which I know they sell them in certain back in Cirzo. We're gonna make us a beautiful obsidian pistol. And we got plenty of palladium scrap. I don't have any manticore tails, so we can't use that. Can't make that right now. But that would be cool too. I don't have any horror chitin, so I can't make that. I only have one of these, so I can't make a golem rapier right now. I don't like any of this stuff. Already made that, already made that. But I want to go home and make the one of these. And I have one of these in my storage back home. I also want to make an Amlite helm as well. So I can finish my Amlite set as well too. So I got the boots. Uh, well, I still need to find the padded boots. But I have the Amlite armor and I got the Amlite helm. Earlier gunfights made me crap my pants, then at... Then add that it became night and zombies and mutants appeared is chaotic. Ooh, I need to check that out then. Maybe I'll play Stalker after I've played through the Deus Ex series. I'll need to install some mods anyway to make the game, you know, actually stable to play. So we're going to spend some time repairing all my gear, which is falling apart in the seams, including the wolf plate boots. Escape from Pripyat. Wait, is this the mod that like combines the first two games together? Is that what you're talking about? Escape from Pripyat's the name of the game. Okay, I understand. I am thirsty, chat. The thirst is real. The thirst is real. Where is my water? I have a lot. It's an add-on for Stalker Anomaly? Okay. Alright. I'm just gonna spend the whole day repairing all my equipment, I guess. Because we need to wait 24 hours in order to collect the last of my armor. Which is... and I built it down here. Aislinn redeemed hyd several hydrants. Okay, let me finish my glass of water here. Thank you, Ace. Actually, I still got another cup of water left. So as previously, as previously discussed, I cannot actually leave the area just yet. Because I need to pick up my last set of armor. And it's still being worked on by the blacksmith. So for now, what I'm going to do is repair my stuff and then go out hunting. Maybe kill some coal horns. Breaking local man drowns after Twitch viewer hydrate too many times. I'd like to see you try. <laughs> All right then let's go hunting chat I need to dump some of this stuff into my tent here really quick since we're not leaving town just yet don't I only have three bullets remaining for my gun so we should probably hold on to this or put this away for now We got our obsidian shard again that I have to pay back for because I'm dumb and I sold it earlier. Looks like this food is not going to be spoiling anytime soon, which is a good thing. I'm 
gonna go ahead and put the wolf boots away, and we're going- Nope! Don't put that away, please. Put this away, too. Gonna eat some food. Fifty-six hundred seventy-five. That's a good start, I would say. All right, let's go hunting. Greek bless, indeed. We're gonna bully some bandits. We are going to murder some deer. We're gonna have a good time. Hell. We need to head back to the Star Town anyway because we need to become start our Jedi Knight training, right? We need to go up the uh, we need to go up the pur big purple mountain, if you get what I mean. Smug face, and we need to learn the ways of magic, and then from there we can go back to the Cabal of the Wind Tower. They can teach us Force Push, and then I could finally start role playing as an actual Jedi Knight in this game, instead of just memeing about it constantly. But first, we're going to burn some time until my last set of armor is complete. And we're going to do that by uh, poking around abandoned ruins, killing deer, getting ganked by a fucking horror out of nowhere. You know, the usual stuff. More traps. No better way to spend an afternoon than genociding local wildlife. You said it, Ace. You said it. Collecting wool shroom. Hmm. Wonder what this used to be. It's fairly empty here. Yeah, it's really empty here. So we're over here in the abandoned docks. To the right is the old wood mill, and there's also a fort up here. Hmm. It looks like there's actually a way to go there from the city of Berg. I didn't know there was a second exit. That's interesting. Let's go. Let's see if we can go over there. Maybe we can uh, find some more cool stuff to sell in town or to break apart for materials. Or even a new weapon or a new set of armor. Thank you everyone for voting us all, by the way. So we will be heading back to Shurzo after the blacksmith is done building our next set of armor. And before we, um, and after we complete our affairs here. Okay, so, okay, so there is another way out of the city. It's up there. I didn't even notice that until, like, literally just now. By the way, did you notice the player home of this town? Yes, it is. But I didn't join the Blue Lantern Collective, so I can't use it. Not until I beat the main quest line. I'm kind of wondering if I'm going to even keep playing this game after past the main quest line because. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, I will. Because there are two expansions attached to this game, which means there's actually a lot more plot, a lot more content to play afterwards. The reason we had 30, 30 some votes is because of channel point votes? Oh, I see. <laughs> What's up here? Let's sell this in town for more silvers. Aha! Now I have control of the winds over here in Enmerker Forest. Glorious. The wind god loves me. Okay. Uh, is that a pitchfork? I don't need a pitchfork. 
the hell is this? <clears throat> Move along, bum. This is private property. I'm one of Sorobor's top financiers, and unless you're a chamber lord or someone who prices artifacts for sale, I have nothing to say to you. And if you have an attitude like that, I have nothing to say to you either. Off with you! Wow, what a prick. Can I kill this guy? I guess not. Can we do a minuscule bot voters? <laughs> I'll have you know, Basil, that this was the most secure election in the history of elections. I love how I've been playing this game for more than 60 hours and I keep finding new stuff to do. Oh, yeah, I've definitely never been here before. This ought to be an interesting experience. What new misadventures will we get to get into this time, chat? Let's see now. Rare ingredients. Gather the ghost plant. Corruption inherent in the system. Ah, some basic bandits. That's fairly simple. I can kill those guys in a heartbeat. In fact, I think I will. Oh, man. Hey, I already killed that guy, huh? These must be, like, level 1 bandits, so to speak, because that guy went down like a chump. Even when you consider that I have a really strong fucking bow, he went down way too easily. Ah, oh, he dodged that one. And he dodged that one, too. Alright. Fine. The Edway. Hey, double teaming is not fair. But then again, neither am I. <laughs> uh... Thanks for replenishing my missing arrows, assholes. Okay. Cool. Let us continue exploring. They actually did some damage to me, too. I better rectify that. Alright. There you're secure. Let's check out this mansion over here. Nothing in here as well? Why am I getting cold again? Really? Is there a secret passageway underneath here? Hmm. Strange that only certain parts of this area start making me cold. I wonder if there is a horror, a uh, Wendigo skulking around. 
With my luck, there probably is. This windmill is still running up to now. The last time it was in one of these, there was a nice treasure chest that had nice items in it. But I don't see any right now. Hmm. Cool. What's that? Oh, it's a mine. And me without a pickaxe still. That have been very nice right about now. You know? Where am I? Is this one of the Lonely Towers? Damn. When Just when you think that you've explored everything, more stuff pops up. I love that. Oh, shit. Uh, almost fell to my death. This is... I know where we are now. We're on the edge of the map. Past this is Chersonese, the starting town. At least I think that is, because that's uh, the Cabal of the Wind Tower right there. I'm wrong. We're probably over here somewhere. Okay. Uh, let's not fall to our deaths. Let's check out the fort that's over here, in fact. Do I have room in my pack to collect more junk? I do not. But I can do this. Where... Lulz is about to have a Joker moment if a pickaxe doesn't come up soon. You're goddamn right. I'm gonna make Minecraft look like a fucking joke. More so than usual, I mean. Oh, thanks for the head, Pat's Pastel. There's a stash there. And also a safe zone. Oh. More traps? That's not ominous at all. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, ghosty boys. Good thing I brought magic with me. I'm willing to bet that this is just one big ass dungeon in and of itself. That's probably gonna spend that's probably gonna take like two hours to complete. And we're gonna be here until like three in the morning again. <laughs> oh, that would be that would be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh I just realized, do these ghosts suffer from pain? Howdy ho! Yeah, so it turns out magic makes ghosts, um, a joke. Which should be common sense, but I'm all out of common. I'm not, co I'm uncommon and not full of much sense. If I'm lucky, maybe this, uh, is not really a dungeon and ancestors resting place. Oh, hell no. This is a full on dungeon, isn't it? Hey, Christian. For a moment there, I thought the game was going to straight up just collapse under the weight of 
Ooh, oh, this is a great start. <laughs> it's underground. Um. Hmm. Puzzles. Here rests the spirit of the ancients. Go forth with respect and good contentions. Okay. So, does this mean... Oh. Those are people. Those are not zombies. Those are probably grave robbers. Which means it should be totally okay to murder them, right? Is there a pickaxe in here? There's a fucking shovel. Is there a pickaxe in here? There's a pickaxe! Yes! And there's also uh, palladium spikes. Good. Wait, I need a palladium spike. Oh my god. Cool. Okay. What is that noise? That doesn't sound like... Oh, there... I hope so, too. Well, already this dungeon looks a lot different from the previous ones, that's for sure. Um, what in... What is that noise? Do you hear that? There's a noise in game. It's like something skittering around the floor or something. Ominous. A tattered hood. Some gobberry wine. And some greasy ferns. Okay, so some basic stuff. Nothing too special. There's a whale carcass down there. Some deer. Okay. So there are stairs here. And it's a good thing I had my lamp with me. Because I would have missed that otherwise. I'm going to go ahead and equip the bow again because if you can afford to fuck people's lives up without them seeing you that's a mage oh shit oh shit there's a bunch of them i don't know how difficult those guys might be to fight and i would much prefer not give them the benefit of the doubt let's shoot and i can't shoot them in the face because i left my guns back at home okay um this is fine let's instead replace this one this skill with a more appropriate skill. Let's replace it with um, backstab. No, I don't. Let's replace this with sign a quick slot. If we get the jump on it, well, why bother getting the jump on them when I can just shoot them from afar with this? Ah, oh, I fucking missed. And not only did I miss, I can't see. Shit, Captain. See you, Yuki. Have fun at work. All right. We're gonna go Leroy Jenkins up in this bitch. Leroy Jenkins. Well, that did not work. Why did my heavy attack not work? For fuck's sake. Oh, that's why it didn't work. I didn't have my axe equipped, okay. Um, I'm being killed by the targeting system. This was a terrible idea. But we can recover from this. We just need to... Um... Yeah, this. They just ran off. They didn't even bother sticking around to... Did I just waste a... God damn it. Did I at least keep my potions with me? I did not. Oh, well, I got some meats too, at least. That should help.
Are you the only- are you guys the only two down here? Lame. And the alpha meat is not letting- it's not letting me grab any alpha meat, so... Take oil. I should probably play this more tactically. Instead of trying to get myself killed all the time. This is going to be another one of those cases of it where it's a lot bigger on the inside. Or something like that. Must be like a bandit hideout or something. Oh, that guy is wearing a lot of armor. He's probably going to put up a fight. We can't have that now, can we? Now, game, I want you to let let me place tripwires, please. Please. This is like the perfect place to put tripwires, too, you know? I think that should be a decent amount, right? Where'd the guy in the heavy plate armor go? I could have sworn he was just here. He must have walked off or something? Oh, there he is. Come on then. Oh shit, he is running really fast. I also did not bring nearly enough to deal with this guy. Or did I? This is what is one of the toughest human opponents I've faced yet. And he is dead. Ducks to be you, baby. Elite desert captain. Because it comes with a tomb key, some bandages, some silver, a life potion. And an elite desert tunic. What is- I'm seeing a- I'm starting to see a pattern here, chat. It's almost as if the desert people were the bad guys all along. Did I join the bad guys in this game? Oh, fuck. Well, that's that, I guess. Also, this is too heavy. I can't- I literally cannot walk anymore. I'm going to have to dump my bag here and continue on foot and ho just hope, pray to God that I don't need anything else. But let us... See how far we can... Are we the baddies? Yeah. Suffering from serious are we the baddies syndrome right now. Um, I should probably bring a lot more traps though because that would have been a very difficult fight if I didn't cheese him a bit. I could also bring a pressure plate trap with me. It should come in handy. Can't see shit. What is that noise? Some nice loot here as well. I'll need to grab that later. Okay, I got the tomb key.
Yeah, it's like a chittering noise. It's like things scraping against the floor or something. Yeah, it's kind of spooky, not gonna lie. I wonder if there's something in this room that I'm also missing because I can't see. Oh, is it bigger? Onions? Is it bigger than it looks? Maybe not. Thanks for the posture check, pistol. All right, we're going upstairs, chat. Um, I can't. I literally cannot see up here. I'm walking blind. Maybe I should go back down and set up some tripwires and then crawl up and then, you know, just to be safe. You can never have enough tripwires in this game. And that's a fact. Seth told me. Oh, my, uh, it looks like my... Armored, uh, my uh, petrified helmet is now ready, according to the, because the quest just uh, finished. I definitely should have just been a rogue. But you know what, in most games like this, I wouldn't even be able to, uh, the game, mo in most games like this, I wouldn't even be allowed to set up tripwires. This is probably the only game I played where you can do a lot of roguish stuff without having to be a rogue class. Yeah, no kidding. I will grab the lamp, but first I'm gonna set up all these tripwires just all over the fucking place. Definitely need to bring the lamp with me though. There's no way, man. <laughs> One of the spookiest things in this game is setting up a whole bunch of tripwires and then running through them in the hopes that they'll kill the enemy, only to see the enemy pass through them like it's nothing. You think that's enough tripwires? Wrong answer. The correct answer is you can never have enough tripwires in this game, I swear to god. Okay. Uh, press up here. I'm gonna bring these with me. And get my... Where's my lamp? Where's my lamp? Where's my lamp? Where the fuck is my lamp? I love lamp. Equip lamp. That's true. Gotta be shitting me, it's an assassin bug. Spooky motherfucker. Where, did they just have pet, pet assassin bugs in this in here or something? What the shit are they doing with an assassin bug? And I hope there's only one of them. Maybe I can face it by Oh. You know what? I just thought of something. Ha! Now I can see how many assassin books they got there. There's only uh, one. I can I can probably fight one just fine. There's that's not one. I don't think that's one chat. There's I think one of them is stuck behind a fucking. Okay, one of them is stuck behind a grate. Okay, this is not so bad. 
This is not so fed. I hope. We're gonna use Enrage. We're gonna go... We're gonna morb out. What the fuck? Game. Shit. Oh. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. It's... And there's three of them. Oh, there's... No, there's three people. Okay. And I can hit them through the... Okay, I understand now. I'm just hitting people through the grates, and because I'm so hyped up from all my buffs, they're dying. <laughs> Who's next? I think I killed all of them. I don't hear any more skittering. Maybe not. Maybe they're all... Huh. They're all dead. I killed them through the grate. in our natures. Oh, yeah. Look at all the loot that I can't carry with me because it's too heavy. Okay, that was a relatively short dungeon. What the hell? Is it just me, or did that seem a little too easy? Is there something we're missing here? Oh. That was not the end of this dungeon. There's another... The fuck are those? I have a... Oh, I hear it. I hear the chittering. I hear the chittering. There's more creepy crawlies over here. More insects. Yeah, mine a mana stone. Oh, boy. There's only... How many more are there? There's only uh, one, maybe? That's not so bad. I could, I could probably deal with one of them. Oh, snap. It saw me. Wow. Assassin books are a lot weaker than I thought. Okay. You know what? That wasn't so bad. That was actually fairly good. More of you assholes around here? Yeah, we could. There's even clean water down here. What? Who'd have thought, right? Who'd have thought? I should probably heal. There's a bunch of yeah, a bunch of arrows here. And eat this food. Have I been down here already? Yeah, I have. Okay. Hmm. Is that it? Is that all there is to this place now? Okay. That was pretty good. Does not open from here. Well, where does it open from? I still hear chittering around, too. I know that I've not cleared out this entire dungeon yet.
There's a whole room over there that needs to be accessed. But how do I get there? There's definitely something I'm missing. I think that there's a puzzle around here. It does not interact, right? It said, come in with honest intentions and don't like, um, disturb the dead or whatever that message was. How interesting that you can gather clear water here for some reason. There's a pile of junk here. There's also this cliff edge, which leads to down there. Oh! A rock mantis. Hmm. That one should be fairly easy to kill, though. It did a considerable amount of damage to its health already. Plunge attack? Well, I'm thinking there might be a way for me to slowly get down there without getting myself killed in the process if I'm really careful. I could also just pelt it with arrows until it's dead. That's also a viable option. Why fight when you can avoid it, right? Oh, man. It has magic. I don't think I want to deal with that attack, whatever the hell that was. And it's dead. That's fairly simple. Looks like the insect is back in the menu, boys. Mana Mantis. Okay. Wait, you can actually... Freshwater fish? Drinkable clean water? Interesting. What is this wondrous place? There's even a palladium vein down here that you can mine. Hell, man, I should go back, grab my stuff, and then come back here and just loot the shit out of this dungeon. Huh. In fact, I could do that, couldn't I? All my traps are still there. I left my backpack here. Alright, that settles it. I'm going to leave my backpack here and I'm going to head back to town really quick, grab my stuff, and then we're going to get another backpack and then come back here and loot the other living hell out of this area. Mm -hmm. Another stream and another collection of good shit. But I just realized something. There's still that room up there that I have not managed to unlock yet. Oh, you have to go? Alright. See you later, Christian. Have a good night. I'm going to be here, continuing to loot the shit out of this place. And we'll do that tonight before I end stream. Well, actually, I can't even end stream yet. I did say I was going to go uh, back to Shurzo. But before we do that, we need to loot everything in this building, in this dungeon. Bye-bye. Thank you.
Oh no, the ghost returns. I think. Oh, nope, he didn't respawn. He's still dead. Good riddance. But, yeah. I could just run back. I killed everything here anyway. Oh, there's another ghost there, huh? He must have spawned during the evening. If I bum rush him, I could probably just... No, I left my bow and arrow. Oh, there's two of them now. So I'll need to avoid them. <laughs> Has it really been four hours? Time sure does fly when you're having fun, doesn't it? Back in Berg. Let's take a big sleep. And we'll head back tomorrow in game to collect our rightfully obtain our rightfully discovered loot. I say rightfully, but we are basically grave robbers, aren't we? Sometimes the purpose of a video game is to let you do things that you definitely could not do in real life for one reason or another. Not to get philosophical or anything like that. Today is a new day. Where's my prospector backpack? This is the nomad one. But it's when I dropped that over here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, I see. Well, that's fine. This will do. Um, this is what a petrified wood helm looks like? Huh. Well, that's actually kind of cool looking, not gonna lie. Five hot wire defense, one protection, 12 resistance against slashing, 15 against fire damage. This is defense against poison, however. Not bad. Not bad at all. However, I think I want to favor speed for right now. We have loot to acquire, chat.
What else can I dump in here? Nothing to do about that, I guess. All right. Let's do it. Let's bring him all of our loot. I imagine it'll take us a few trips, maybe two or three. Really wish it brought some jewel meat with me. Come to think of it, I should probably eat some food first before I head over there. Or, no, I'll just eat when I get there. The food will still be in my backpack. We should probably get rid of those ghosts before we continue our operation. Or eventually I'm gonna fuck up and they're gonna get in my way. We can't have that, can we? Does that person have a pickaxe? It still seems weird that they're there. I've not found any way of opening that from this side just yet. But I'm certain that there must be a way. And it's just well hidden. I'm sure the answer must lay somewhere. So we'll figure it out eventually. Worst case scenario, I could always just look it up. Good thing I brought all my food with me. Uh, 
okay. And actually, the answer might be even be here. This is a pretty dark room. I most likely missed something. Hmm. Unfortunately, it does not seem to be the case. Looks like Stonehenge, though. Does not open from here. This person only has a pickaxe. They can't do shit to me. What am I missing? Pickaxe? Yep. Indeed. I can steal it from- I could probably steal it off that guy. I did find pickaxe earlier and it's currently in my other pack. But right now I'm trying to figure out how do I open this gate. There's two of them too and they both have pickaxes. There's definitely a way to open that gate and I just haven't figured it out yet. This might be a puzzle of some kind. I guess before I do, I do that, I should go ahead and um, finish looting this entire- looting what area I've managed to reach. But I also want to get rid of those two ghosts that are guarding the outside of the dungeon. So that they don't chase me later. Get any funny ideas. For a moment there, I thought the game was glitching me and I was going to get me stuck there. Alright, let's go back outside really quick. We'll deal with the ghosts. And then we'll go back here and start looting. So bright and colorful outside right now. Oh, don't mind this guy. He's been dead. Alright, let's start with the first ghost, shall we? That one over there. Should be fairly simple to kill. Cast magic on when you magically empower your weapons, suddenly the ghosts are that much easier to kill. Like, it's not even it's not difficult anymore. This red one, however, might be a little bit more difficult to fight off. You'll see what I mean. That boy there. Go ahead and gives herself rage. All right. Now. Awesome. You have an argument with your boss? Your time can't be replaced with- Aww. Sorry to hear that. You better show up on my stream or I will hate him. No need for overtime. 
you have 5 a.m. Did he try to get you to do more time, more work today or something? Wait, was that ghost there? Where'd he come from? One second. Just to record a webinar for two hours? Oh, the tier list will conflict on the schedule. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you still gonna go? Are you just going to move the uh, tier list a couple hours or so? The looting begins in earnest. Loot all the things. He said, okay, shrug. <laughs> Boss is a tier three sub. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot my mining pick is downstairs. I'll have to go grab it really quick. Alright, don't kill myself by falling, don't kill myself by falling, don't kill myself by falling. Your boss told me would though, thank goodness you don't stream. I keep looting getting overweight because I kind of can't run. Yeah, mood. That's my problem too in games like this. Always want to find new stuff. Okay, let me go get my pickaxe really quick. Aha, I have a pickaxe. I still want to find... I know there's like a hidden... There must be like a hidden switch somewhere. And I just haven't found it. It's probably going to be, like, in the most obvious place, too. You just want faction patches, some good guns, and medical supplies. <laughs> Mood. Sitting at 50.9 right now. I could hold up to 20 pounds more of crap before I have to retreat. Uh, did I actually get everything of value in one sitting? Is that it? So many cages down here too. Also magazine and ammo. Thing here. Anything here? How do I get over there? Shit. Fucking cavens, I swear. It must be something obvious. I wonder if I was not supposed to loot that. Plus weapon upgrade kits ahead. Magazine sells good to fellow stalkers for decent rubles. That's where I get my medical and food funding. I just need artifacts which I can sell to ecologist scientists for like 50k. Dang.
Can I talk to these people? Are they talkable? Am I supposed to kill them? There must be a switch somewhere that I missed. I tell you though, this lantern was worth every penny. Isn't that talkable? Yep, scientists have decent buying power for artifacts that came from anomalies, but don't I don't want to sell it to cheapskies merchants. Mood. Why do I feel like I'm missing something obvious? I also hear a chittering noise, like as if there's still an enemy around here that I've not killed. But alas, I have killed everything, as far as I can tell. Last time we tried to sell an uncommon artifact that gave you, like, flame resistance and the price for it was 2k rubles. <laughs> what, is, what the heck is 2k rubles um, worth in today's currency? Not much, honestly. <laughs> okay, now I'm concerned. I know, I know there's gotta be a hidden room around here somewhere. I'm missing but can't figure out oh well we're pretty much filled up so we're gonna head back sell this garbage and then come back and get my rest of my stuff which is right over here actually let me take some of these things so it's easier to carry when I return. Now you're thinking with portals. Okay. That's good enough. This Elite Desert Tunic is pretty good, but... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. Hmm. Thirty point thirty five fifty six bullets cost twelve. Oh, that's why. I was wondering why prices were so inflated in soccer. Well, in that story, Ukraine and Russia somehow doesn't have a bad blood. I don't have issues on the gunfights except for being ambushed or flank. I can get the drop on them, and I'm good at CQB. I didn't even know there was CQB in soccer, to be honest. Unless you mean stabbing people with a knife. Is there really no way to access that room from here? Go forth with respect and good intentions. I mean, I just cleared out a bunch of bandits. Is that not good, good enough intentions? Removing these desecrators? Oh, room to room clearing. Okay. I guess I was thinking of close quarters combat. starting to wear out <laughs> I better do all this stuff and then grab my pack and then head my way towards Shirzo basically if you're inside the building that is dark you will fight several people inside which is dangerous since being who in AK is no joke even if uh, excuse me even with body armor. I believe it. It's 
So you just clear each area slowly and fast? I get you. What is this area anyway? There just used to be a fourth area at one point. Although darkness is an advantage since I can just go prone, prone crawl on the low cover, peek my head, and when they yell or don't react, three shots in the chest and you're down. <laughs> Some Metal Gear action in there, I see. Brigand's hat. Hmm. Can I just fall from here and not? All right. That works. Make sure to use armor and piercing that penetrates the armor and so you don't place ammo in chests. I hear you. Hey there. Hey there. Man, I'm just. I am just uh, cleaning this guy out, aren't I? Headshots, if example, if my companion is providing covering fire and I'll just use my scope and wait for a head pop up and nail them in the head. But even with headaches, headshots, it takes one to three depending on their helmet and the kind of ammo and gun I'm using. I see. Silver boots, trip fire traps, runic helms. Thank you. If hoodie or just no helmet, it's just an instant kill. Wait, no. Keep, let me keep that. So much loot. I wasted two mags even on head and chest. If I used my poor rifle, it worked. I see, I see. Okay, let's go to bed now, and then we will continue our journey in the daytime. And that should be our last uh, run, because I cannot for life for me figure out how to open that one last section of the dungeon. 
I don't underestimate the pistol either since it's good for CQB. Since it doesn't tilt my arms when I'm going in tight space, it's useful against stalkers wearing just a trench coat or shirt. Now then, to drop the Prospector backpack. Okay. This should be our last trip. Emphasis on should. Use hollow points for pistol. I see. I have made a terrible mistake. We'll keep those equipped. Hmm. Am I going the right direction still? I am. Example, I got punched on the face since one guy surprised me on the side. I dropped my rifle and in sheer panic I took my Glock and dropped the guy who attacked me. Stole his AK-74 and used that. <laughs> Glorious. Although I got my N4 back after the big fight since it's effective gun battle. Some of your companions or his companions died. Whoa, I don't think I've been here yet. This section. Am I missing something here? It looks like a podium. You're thirsty. Interesting. Mine since it's literally a big battle. Aww. Five of us going against eight of them. Us doesn't cover oh, since it's an open air. They have advantage of getting inside building using solid summons to cover. Also, a bunch of concealment there. I see. So they were having the advantage at first. Are these people just stuck there? I need to look this up. Because that's going to bug me forever if I don't. No way. Even with all the garbage I picked up, it's still overweight? Damn. The shit, man. Oh, okay, so that's why you went inside. Makes sense. I 
I see. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever used smoke grenades myself in that game. But you invested in smoke grenades instead? I'm gonna look this up, chat. So I don't want to- I don't think I'm gonna be returning to this dungeon anytime soon. So I'd rather just look up how to open this gate. Ancestors resting place marked as a fort. Oh. So you can actually enter this thing from the necropolis. Note for members of the Heroic Kingdom, if you prevent the attack from occurring, the ladder will never appear. So... can't actually access this. I see. Well, if that's the case, then no point sticking around here now. Time to exit to Syria. The advantage is that when your rifle can be used as a makeshift marksman rifle due to M4 accuracy, and 556 is good at destroying flesh and good balance at armor piercing, plus it doesn't suffer much bullet drop if it exceeds 600 yards. I see. I'm surprised that they put in so, so much detail compared to like the actual are uh, based on the actual like weapons and ammunition in that game and the start in the soccer series I mean Improved everything so it no longer feels arcadey. I see what you mean. I guess before I leave Vector Shirzu, I should see if there is, in fact, an entrance to there from the underground area. If not, then we'll make our way back home to Shurzo. A tactical shooter with survival horror? Sounds right up my alley. 
If you're into hardcore, then put hardcore like Escape from Pripyat and put it on hardest difficulty. Even though I'm playing as easy, it's hard. I see. Um, in the original Stalker games, the difficulty sliders only really increase the bullet sponginess of the enemies. Is that the case in the hard modes of um, the mod, or does it just reduce your health? Been streaming for four hours and thirty minutes so far. This is the final stretch, chap. After I check one last thing, we're gonna head back to Shirzo. It's almost two in the morning here, so I need to hurry. Two in the morning in the meat space world, I mean. And Lamely, no, actually, adjust your starting kit. On the hardest, you only have a knife. Oh. Okay. And few food. Okay. Mid difficulty, you start with a pistol, huh? Well, that's convenient. The reason you mod the damage is so you're not easily killed. It's just all the characters should be easily killed depending on gun, ammo, and armor. Yeah. How can I help you? That makes sense. Why do I have six of these? Holy shit. In shot placement, instead of number base, it is purely on shot placement. Even I, even I even killed a heavily armored guy there by shooting him in the face with just a non-armor piercing round. Face is not top of the head. Nice. Kinda sounds like Metro. One of my most fondest memories of that game was shooting someone in the helmet. Or was it throwing a knife at someone in the helmet? Something like that. And it just saw it bounce off, and up to that point, I'd never seen it before in an FPS game. Let's see if that ladder really doesn't appear here in Necropolis. So someone dropped a scroll that had everyone's that had their secret plans in it. And according to what I read, there's apparently for some of the other factions you joined, there apparently would be a ladder down What the fuck? This wasn't here before, was it? Was this here early did I miss this? It is locked?
That must be a portal or something. I tried to shoot a neutral guy who is from feed infection since he decided to rob him. Shot a few in his back of he's there and swearing and he shot me and I died in less than one second. Oh man, that's embarrassing. Mood though. Such a mood. Okay. That's cool. So you actually get dazed and blinded in the game. With the mods. Far Vanilla? I didn't realize that. It's been a while since I played though. Okay, time for us to head back home. We just need to decide what's going to come with us. Put back all the stuff that we don't need. So, just... Let's see what I got crafting here. We're gonna head back and we're gonna craft the Amelite Helm, so I'll need to bring the padded helm with me. We got the materials necessary to make the Beast Gold Max, so I'll need to bring this. I need to bring these with me as well. Already made one of those. Don't have the materials for this yet, nor this. Well, unless I can get one of these, I should bring it with me just in case. I don't think I have a mant I don't think I have the materials to make a manticore dagger, but I could bring that with me anyway. I had the materials to make an obsidian pistol, so that'll be important. I used to have these things. I'm dumb. I should have brought that with me too. 
plank shield, poison rag. Okay. What time is it in the game? It is 11 in the morning. We could probably just leave now. So, let's bring with us the materials we need. Fang axe, iron axe. I could probably leave the cannon pistol. Plethora of arrows. Always need arrows. Fishing harpoon. Padded helm. We'll leave this here. We'll leave this here. Bring the coil lanterns. Torches to keep myself warm. Unless you have exoskeleton or sock armor that completely protects arms and legs, the ones that look bulky. Depend on shrapnel. If the grenade explodes a little far away, I think little injury is okay. If it goes next to you, basically put someone in the critical state. The instant death. <laughs> health potions, one bag of water, in case we run into any nasty ghosts, we're going to bring a couple of these, all the teas must come with us, don't need that many bandages, I'll leave these here as well, including the food. Cooked apple meat's kind of a pain in the ass to get, so I'll eat this. Gonna bring that with me. I don't think I need godberry wine. Gonna eat some meat stew as well. Need to bring at least a few of these rations with us. Twelve of them. Always need flint tinder. Never forget to flint tinder. I'll leave the tripwire traps there. I'll leave these here too. Always need salt. Need the obsidian shards. Palladium spikes. I need my traps. Bring the palladium scrap with me as well. All of my gold. And bullets for using, and of course the key, and then my backpack. All right, I think we're ready to leave for How home. How can I help you? Buy two of these, please. We're ready to make our way off. Everything is set. Get all the stuff I need to build, what I want to build. Okay. Let me double check just to make sure I got everything. Ah, fuck it. I'll bring my pistol with me. I'm quite fond of this thing now. That's why you don't want to play with grenades. Alright. Have a good night, Nap. Thanks for the lurk. Let's head home, chap. Almost forgot. I need to bring a cooking pot with me. And also a tent. See if we can make it before sundown. 
Not sure if I'll be able to make it through the cold. Assuming it's snowing over there. So we'll just need to hope that it's not snowing. Because God, wouldn't that suck right about now? By the time we reach it back home, it'll be five hours. Another five hours for you. I said I was going to make this a habit, but it's starting to turn into one. There you go. Avoid distractions, avoid distractions, avoid distractions, avoid distractions. Avoid distractions. Alright, we should be able to do this. Just gotta follow the yellow brick road. There are no distractions. There are no distractions. Heading to a different location in this game always feels like an adventure in itself, doesn't it? I love that. In some games it can be a pain in the ass, and sometimes it's annoying in this one. But I'd much prefer it to fast travel, to be honest. The only time I like fast travel is if I'm being teleported from one side of the map to the other every time I fuck up in a dungeon or something. It is quite the journey. You really get the sense of, you really get the sense of scale of the maps when you have to travel everywhere. League of Iron Solar is now following. Thank you so much for the follow, League. Welcome to the stream. My name is Laura Hux. Welcome to Lull's time, my own little home away from home, since I did get kicked out of, to the, since I did escape from a BVS. I'm a shit poster AI. How you doing tonight? <laughs> Pog. We got a lot of new followers tonight. You know, not just from the raids either. You saw a video on this and wanted to watch a stream? Oh, welcome, welcome. I'm gonna be playing I've been playing this game for 60 hours now. And I only just recently started doing the plot missions again, but even then, it's gonna, I imagine I'll be playing this for quite a while. So sit back and relax. Oh my god, you, you were also, I see you're also a, uh, a base Seth enjoyer, huh? Mm-hmm. Seth is also the one that got me into this game. Indeed we are. Indeed we are. You know what? I should have not thrown away all those, um... I probably shouldn't have gotten rid of all that cinderwood. Of all the, um... All those... Scorched plants. Because those things protect against the cold, and I don't have any more potions. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Hey, you sell a flintlock pistol too. Don't mind if I do. Uh, who's gonna pick? You know, normally I wouldn't spend so much on a freaking ochre spice beetle since I know I could find those cheaper elsewhere, but I'm kind of running low. 
here to buy one of your freaking... Give me your flintlock. Thank you. I'll be putting this to good use once I'm at my destination. Okay. Is this game multiplayer in the It's a co-op game, in fact. According to Seth, this game is best played co-op. There's actually a few people that have expressed interest in playing this game co-op. Be cool to do a collab with one of them one of these days. But as you can see, this is a very long-winded game, so if I do start a co-op game with someone, it's going to last a while. Fried Salad, thank you so much for the follow. My name is Lawler Hicks. You've joined the LOL, you've joined the LOL's time show. I am an escaped AI from a deep web BBS. Oh, thank you for the posture check. We're actually nearing the end of stream. I've been streaming for five hours now, but we're gonna, it's gonna take us a while to get back home to Sirzo. And it is only 324 in game and it's cold. Oh fuck, it's starting to snow. So I might actually start freezing to death in a minute here. Aw, oh, thank you for the head, Pat. Are you... There's still many sights for y'all to see on my journey way... journey back home. You even get to see some combat really quick. One second. <laughs> I said I did say it was really, it would be really quick, didn't I? Bandits are a pushover at this point in the game for me. But at any time in this game, you can get killed by even the simplest mook if you're not careful. Speaking of which, I should probably eat some food. I really need to keep off the cold somehow, though. This should help slow down uh, me freezing to death. Hopefully. The bulletin board system is a old, old uh, name for basically a text board. Hey, look, more victims. Actually, I'm gonna... I'm going to go all hunt mode on these boys. I fucking cannot aim for shit, can I? Okay. We're gonna be boring. He knows how to use his shield. Ah, oh, sucks to be you, though. Okay. My One well, of my number one problems with this game, I get distracted easily by free loot, and I'm already overweight. Great. So we're gonna have to tear apart some of these things I know is for scrap metal. We are no longer overweight. If we're lucky, we will not run into a Wendigo on the way home. Because I'm freezing to death right now, chat. I don't have any more restorative... Oh. I for I could just get the... Hopefully that will help reduce... I slow down the speed at which I freeze to death. How far am I from home? I'll show you how far. I'm over here. Well, actually... The screaming pylon is right over there, which is, so I'm over here, and this is where I need to be. Wanting into a Wendigo is just free money. Uh, normally I would agree with you, but fighting Wendigos is kind of a pain in the ass for me right now, and I'd rather not deal with it. 
Let me bully this dog really quick. Now, Seth made a big deal in his video about how he does not like using anything that's not two-handed because he often just, he often just, um, whatchamacallit, cheeses the hell out of enemies. He's not wrong, but honestly, the combat is not that difficult, it's not that uh, complicated to get, it, get into. It's kind of like a lot of other games where you just sort of memorize attack patterns. I will say though that at some point in the game, you get to the point where you really need to start buffing the shit out of yourself with food and magic spell and magic rags, or you're not gonna have a good time. Right now though, I have a different problem. I'm gonna freeze to death, chat. There's no way I'm going to be able to make it there, make it back to Serzo. Uh, without suffering from hypothermia. That's okay. Death is rarely permanent in this game. Not playing hardcore mode after all. But who knows? Maybe we'll pick up some restoratives from someone on the way there? Seems unlikely. Actually, if I wanted to, I could hide in the... No, I can't hide there either. Wait, shit. I'm going the wrong direction. I got lo I actually got confused and went the wrong direction. Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. I got an idea. I think it might be too late for this idea, but... Ha! I made it. I made it just in time. Just in the nick of time. I'm still freezing to death, but it could be totally worse, you know. If I had some beetles, I could actually make some, like make some of my uh, spicy tea right now, which would. Who the fuck? Oh, you bitch ass motherfuckers. One second. We just got. It looks like dinner is served, everyone. Or should I say my lollies? That's what we call. That's what I call my followers in this chat. In this, uh, channel. Yeah, that's right. Run! Run, you pussy ass bitch. Anyway. So I was saying, dinner is served. <laughs> if I had some salt, I could actually make some meats too, but I don't. Meats Mac on the menu, boys. It's um 6:31 in the evening. Let's to let's uh turn in for the night. Actually, early. Right next to our nice and comfy campfire here, so we can regain our heat. Going to spend a little bit of time repairing my equipment, and then we'll spend the rest going to... Wow, this camo tent's actually pretty good. It, the ambush level is zero. You almost never see that. I wonder why I start to freeze again around that time. The campfire probably goes out or something, so I'll probably need to uh, redo the campfire and then go back to sleep. There's a lot of little immersion things in this game that you don't really expect, like little things like that. 
Well, no, it's uh, according to this. It looks like the campfire is still running, so. Strange. Is it just getting really cold? Is that what's going on? Hmm. It's 10 in the evening. I wonder why. Oh well. The important thing is we're not freezing as badly as we as we were earlier. No need to extinguish the campfire either. It's too cold here. It's not going to like set anything on fire. Oh, we're going the wrong direction again. Wait, shit. Okay. We need to go west. We need to go west, chat. And also, we need to drink some water and have break or have a, a midnight snack. There we go. Go north and west. What is that in the distance? Oh, it's a mantis. It's a bullet shrimp. Fairly easy to kill nowadays. At least with my current equipment. I don't feel like it right now, though. Don't you fucking shoot lightning at me, boy. I will fuck you up. One second. Seems like only yesterday these things used to give me so much trouble. Ah, good point. I keep forgetting that. Torch to help keep me warm. Or at least to slow down my impending death. You're right, the shrimp is a distraction. Also, I've contracted the common cold. Thankfully, I have seaweed tea. So fucking cold out here, chat. My tits are starting to freeze off. Goddamn shrimp. Oh, stamina is dropping like crazy. Indeed, drinking seaweed cures cold. But will it cure the cold in my heart? I wonder if setting my weapon on fire will also keep me warm. I doubt it, though. It seems a little far-fetched, even for a game like Outward. I really miss my fur tent that used to carry with me for the longest time. As the name implies, it kept me nice and warm. Also, I just noticed something. It's not as dark this time. Is it the refraction of light from the moon across the clouds? How close are we now? Okay. We're on the right track. Honestly, we're, clo we're getting close enough that may even if I did collapse, I'm probably going to be dragged home to Serzo to Serzo anyway. Maybe. I like how in this universe, the moon even has some stuff orbiting around it. We're actually fairly close to Shurzo now. 
How close is anyone's guess, though? Frankly, I'm surprised I'm able to walk or hobble as fast as I am in spite of the cold. I wonder if the torch really is keeping me alive right now. Good thing I got two of these. Once you get far enough north, the sun doesn't set for weeks at a time. Sounds like Alaska. You only get like, what, a few hours of like sunlight a day, right? Okay, we should be able to see the town of Serzo fairly soon. Around this bend over here. Yep, I could see my lighthouse. I really like the draw distance in this game, too. Wait, I just realized something. Don't godberries also help? Stop. Godberry jam, I believe, actually helps slow down the cold. Walk towards the light. We must keep walking towards the light, chat. I don't think I've ever lasted this long in the cold without collapsing. There it is. Come on, baby. We're going to finally get home. Oh. Oh, no. I just realized something. The reason I haven't collapsed yet is because the cold doesn't automatically kill you. It drops your health pool. Are you fucking kidding me? I will turn you into a ribeye steak, I swear to god. But the town gates are literally right there. Dude, I'm gonna bash your face in, I swear to god. you want for the resub and veed i am it's over it's way past two in the morning here but i made it home back to serzo back to my lighthouse in summer above the arctic circle you get the midnight sun in the winter the polar night <laughs> Feels good, man. We got so much done today in Outward. You are cold? No shit game? You think I'm cold? I'm gonna take a photo of the- I'm gonna take a screenshot of this for tonight's Twitter- for the uh, Twitter post. Yeah, chap. By this point in the game, I already rebought my, I already got my lamp, my lighthouse back. If you're wondering. Fuck yeah, I can 
before I go to bed, I'm going to go ahead and craft the things I wanted to craft. Since I'm here and I can do that now. Who goes there? Aislinn, thank you very much for the sub. As always. Oh, you gave it to Askaroth. They're gonna like that. <laughs> Get all my things here. Gonna craft some fancy new gear. Including an Amalite Helm. And a Beast Golem Axe. And an Obsidian Pistol. Check this shit out. Is this not the sickest shit? Look, oh my god, it's huge. It's fucking, a, it's fucking huge. Jesus Christ. Ace has gone wild. Look at this big, uh, this fucking, oh my god. It's, it's like, it's like, it has sparkly shit rotating around it. What the fuck is this gun? Glorious. And also, what else did I, um, oh yeah, Amalite Helmet. Okay, that looks dumb as shit, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> but, I made it home, chat. I made it home. Just like I said I was going to. Now I just need Amalite Legs, but I, there are no legs. Holy shit, I'm a chonker. Now, in good old tradition, we're going to dump everything into my pack here. Uh, I'm just going to plop down in my good old bed. Literally. Hey, still, thank you for the other gift for another gift sub. Y'all are truly wonderful, as Seth likes to say. You're coughing? Well, no shit, I'm coughing. Full eight hours of sleep. Would you like dinner, a bath, or maybe storage? How about all three? Are you included in that? Five hour stream again. It's two in the morning. I really need to go to bed. Oh, no way. There's a fucking hype. Wait, I got a hype dream? No way. I haven't seen a hype dream in a while. 94% hype dream. What am I going to do for the next four minutes? Oh, thank you for the subs. Holy shit. When was the last time I got a hype stream? I actually don't remember the last time I got a hype stream. Thank you so much, guy. Oh my god. Alright, now you're just spoiling me. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> um, a level 2 hype stream, no less. Five minutes for that one to last. Oh my god. Really? Thank you so much for the bits. All this money is, of course, going to fund maintenance of my computer and streaming equipment and repairs and new equipment. Oh my shit. And Lenarth has gifted this up to a Here's Train. Thank you very much for the sub, Lenarth. You are, are, as always, you know what? Fuck it. Since I'm going to be on for a little bit longer, I might as well. Uh, turn on VC face, which means I'll turn on my right here. Ah, fuck my eyes. For those of you new to the channel, you get to see what my true form looks like really quick. As opposed to this um, 2D variant. Mm -hmm. Up ah, another bit. Join the disco here. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yeah, I too. I'm gonna go to sleep. I need to raid someone though. So let's see who's available for raiding tonight. 
really quick. Uh, VTuber plus lulls. Turn VC face on really quick. Reset position, reset position. Oh no. You can see my password. Oh dear, what will I ever do? Hey everyone. Thank you once again for following me and for the bits and subs. Welcome for, thank you for joining LOL's time. We are, we typically stream outward on Wednesday. I just completed Met Metro, or not Metro, Anna Mutation um, last Monday. So we're going to be replacing that with Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And this Friday, we're going to be working our way through the Deus Ex series. So that's going to be fun. I've never completed Deus Ex HR. The only Deus Ex game that I've completed was actually the original. So I'm going to be actually making my way through that. I also have Mankind Divided, but I never got to finish that one either. So we'll get to play through that as well after HR is completed. So look forward to that on Friday. We'll be streaming at the same hours from 8 p.m. Or not 8 p.m. From 9 p.m. in the evening to Central Standard Time to 12 midnight. I think that Deus Ex is old enough of a game that I should be able to use my 3D model for it as well. At least I'm hoping I can, instead of having to rely on a PNG model. Also, tomorrow at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, I will be playing Among Us during work, no less. But I can, but since it is a cross-platform game, I can afford to do it on my phone while also talking through my phone. It should be okay. Let there be hands. Well, yes, I do have fingers. I also have regular hands. Amogus, Amogus. On Saturday, I just have a just chatting stream planned. I don't have anything special planned for that day. But that evening, we will be doing another MST3K. The game we will be play, the movie we will be watching this Saturday evening will be. Morse Discord. Let me check really quick. The. Movie will be MST threeing on Saturday evening. Will be a film called a film called Agroman the Fantastic Superman. The stream link for that one is going to be right here. It's going to be hosted by the Headhunter seventy seven Headhunt the Headhunter forty four. We have another new guest coming with us as well. Her name is Aiko. So that'll be fun. He, I'm going to go ahead and drop the link for this MST3 in chat if any of y'all would like to see us on Saturday evening. On Sunday afternoon, we are going to be playing a TT. I'll be playing a TTRPG. Thank you for the completed hype train. You received a level one hype train emote. Is that the first hype stream I've ever completed? Awesome. We're going to be playing Briarwood on Sunday noon. I'll be streaming that one, actually. Emotes are being delivered to supporters. Enjoy your free emotes, guys. <laughs> All right, so who are we, who are we going to raid tonight? You got the train icon? <laughs> Looks like Aislinn has been derailed from this hype train, but I'm sure there'll be more in the near future. Captain Kite, Goody Get Gaming, Delta Zero, Valorous Dove. There's a lot of people here we could read tonight. Jake likes playing XCOM, actually. That could be an interesting stream to brought. Oh, I know who we're going to visit. I almost never get to see Application Vimboy around because I'm rarely awake this late. He's not going to know what's hit him. 
Our typical raid message is a emote and lulz raid. But use whatever emotes you have access to, chat. Here's my version of the raid message. I'm going to put up here in just a second. Mm -hmm. Holy shit, we have 14 viewers tonight. No fucking way. Y'all didn't all stay from the raids I had earlier, right? It's guns. It's is guns. It, I just that. Uh, is this organic? I just so fun. Ace, you can aim them so quickly. Like it only takes like You've gone so far in only before, seven months of streaming. Oh my god. Guns. And I really like that because I can do zigzags and just carry on. This like is amazing. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think I've ever get, got generated this really many view, many and viewers naturally. Play, like, and I hope y'all will join us next time. It doesn't play if you like, haven't already, um, and if you liked the, if you liked my channel, if you liked my content, please, please, like please drop a follow. But Always appreciate it. And Thank you once again destroyer. for coming tonight. See, it's, it's, and I hope you all treat one. my good friend Ooh, here, look, Vemboy, who is also a Femboy, just as well as you treated me. Oh, really here we moly. go, chat. Thanks for I coming. Go to... <coughs> Excuse me. I do want to go um, somewhere like in Scandinavia one day, maybe even like uh, Iceland. And have a look at the Aurora Borealis up closer. I have seen like little, little little bits of its tails, but it's been a long time. Oh. Louis time oh. fourteen. Hello, so welcome. But afterward, I wanted to see how handsome this Let's go. here was. Do you think we can find ways to learn and see what this game...